Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. How's it going? I hope we're all doing good. That was a very British greeting. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How's it going then? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this is this is the tone of the stream. <laughs> this is the way the stream is going to go. You know, it's great. We're, we're here. It's going to be a little bit chaotic. But hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are we all doing? Are we all doing good? Are we all having a, all having a nice weekend? having fun only two songs there were three songs it was three songs i did the control control oh what's it called but yeah it was it, it was just like a, a theme you know it wasn't quite yeah you know, a song song but yeah but no, it was three also it's been 10 minutes so probably actually it's been 12 minutes so i really should get started hello governor <laughs> love it yes Love it, love it. Yeah, sorry, all you guys are just saying like BL in the chat and on, uh, like my brain just goes to boys love. Like even when you guys were like talking about this before I even knew what Blade Lineage was, I was like, oh, the fandom's really into BL. Awesome. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Practice for the most British canto. Gotta get, gotta get the accents right. Yeah, gotta get ready. It's gonna be a very Northern canto, even if they canon it in London. I don't care, I'm doing it as Northern. It's, I'm going to make it canon to the book, god damn it. Since when did you run a radio station? Oh, mate. You don't know about my radio station? So long. <laughs> IG, let's go read BL. Let's do it! <laughs> BL stream. <laughs> Who keeps summoning us? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but hello, the SCP Foundation UK division. How are you doing? I've never played SCP. I, I think it's something I'd like, though. Um, 
Don't tell anyone the AK sphere, but Control's wishes is really forgettable. You guys have just witnessed some tea. No one clipped that. Oh my god, they tea. You're gonna get expelled from the AK community. <laughs> That's like a favorite boss theme. Holy shit. Oh my god. Hey, it's okay. That's okay. I'll have you back. Everyone's out. Everyone's out of their opinion. I love Limbus BL. Woo! <laughs> I thought everyone here knows about the Georgie Radio. Yeah, do you guys all tune into the Georgie Radio Station? Shocking. Do you have resources to build a full BL team? <laughs> Sorry. I just, I'm just like, yeah! I love it. I love it. And if not, I will find a way. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll, get, we'll have a gander. You just got clips saying that. Damn it. I will also get expelled from the AK community. Damn it. It's our little secret. Okay. Okay. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. <laughs> the fan art really emphasizes the BL and Blade lineage. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some great fan art of like Mersault and Gregor the past couple of days. It's been great. I'm like, Twitter, let's go. It's been per I'm like, yeah loving it it's great perfect but yeah so guys how have you found the new event how have you liked the ids how have you gotten on which characters which ids did you go for hey georgie you get so many so much banging music on this channel any chance we can get a rave emote right it's really funny you say that Roth. we i do actually have one i do have a rave emote the problem is youtube doesn't have moving emotes so in my discord there is a moving rave emote but it doesn't move on the youtube so the answer is technically no, we can't, but there is one that exists. So I feel like I need to get something still that we could like use for it, you know? The event is awesome. Don't know Faust yet, but Mersault is very wordy with all of his skills. Love that, interesting. I like it. Hello Kayak, how's it going? All of them, you love all of them. Very good, finished on the same day. Love that, went in for all of them. Kim Salt is the new broken ID in the game nice very awesome in both boo youtube i know i know i know hopefully youtube will fix that one day but yeah it is a real shame i've never felt so sad to win a clash <laughs> oh my god that's like the like the last library of ruin a stream <laughs> when everyone's like come on lose a clash and get the card come on come on get that card we want to see you try and use it and i just didn't get it once and it was like yeah because the game is designed for you just to like not lose the clash ever it's just, yeah, it's unfortunate. BL Salt brought shine to the BL Yi Sang. We love BL. I love it. I love it. It's great. It's great. BL Faust grow on me, but BL Don's support is benched. BL Mersault and BL Yi Sang into a scary carry. Interesting. See, I don't have the Yi Sang. Oh, do I have the Yi Sang? I don't know. This chapter delivered the best piece of comedy I've had in a long time. I've not laughed so much in a while. Ooh, okay. This game is very good at comedy, actually. So I'm excited to see what they do. I am excited to see what they do. It's yeah. We'll we're, we're gonna start diving in because I'm I'm like, I almost just clipped on Library of Runa. I am excited to see what's gonna happen. Um, and yeah, it, do you think this was a better five point five event than the previous one, or do you think they're on about the same? Oh, I love the login screen. The login screen looks so good. It's so dope. It's so dope. Why do you guys keep mentioning Yaoi? <laughs> so it's it isn't boys love it's blade lineage it's like an id line but people just call it bl and yeah everyone everyone has that you know like why are you calling it this but that's kind of what's great about it you know that's what we kind of love about it is that that's what happens is you make that assumption also i'm very stuck on the railway at the moment i'm really annoyed about it i'm like right at the freaking ahab <laughs> freaking ahab so i'm kind of hoping the new ids might help me a bit best event best event so far no Ooh. okay i mean we've had some good events this is way better than christmas interesting okay the yaoi lineage yeah that's what it is better last one wasn't bad but this is definitely better okay okay i'm excited to see what happens then Ooh. okay someone who's carried by kim, kim and runa i loved it yeah i ki yeah i <laughs> i can also see that i'm gonna get carried by kim and runa that card is insane i'm gonna try and get more ryoshi approved um, my favorite BL is Thorns Time, Times Elysium. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. I haven't seen enough. I haven't seen enough of them to, to ship it too much yet. But I don't have many Arknight ships, really. I don't really have many game ships altogether, really. I don't really ship too much in Gacha. I'm forming some, but I think when there's... It, it depends what happens in the story, doesn't it? And the problem is you don't always get to know characters enough to, like, ship them. 
So, yeah. But I have my own. But I keep mine private because I don't want to cause a war. <laughs> I don't want to cause discourse in the community with my ships. So, yeah. So, no voice acting now. I miss the little gremlin voice. Oh, yeah. I think that's the sad thing. Well, you can have my gremlin voice today if that probably doesn't make you feel any better. But if that helps. <laughs> Let's not reveal too much. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's okay, yeah. Hi, cool dog. How's it going? It's really good towards the end, especially, but won't be as much if you haven't read some of the side stories. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I just personally don't see the pillar ships. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited for this Versal. I better get him. No, I want the Chaos G. No. No, because one of them... One, no, no. Like, one of them is, like, a common one that I've talked about before. And it's, it just seems to split the community in, in two. And then the other one doesn't have any grounds. I just like the fan art. <laughs> so, yeah. George looking down at Amiga ships. She comes riding. <laughs> Had a big L recently. Uptied BL Bursault to three and ran out of thread. No. Oh, only to forget that I was going to use that special ticket. Oh, no. It, it happens, doesn't it? Hi, Maury. Hello, how's it going? Gamba, gamba, gamba. Yeah, we're going to do some gam. We're going to do some gam gamba right now. Right now. I mean, to be fair, right, I will say a little proclamation, right? I'm actually going to make this proclamation. I think Limbus might be, I think Limbus might be the most generous Gatcher I play. I think that is true. Like, yeah, I think Limbus is the most generous Gatcher I play out of all of them, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, because you get so much. <laughs> I don't know if other people agree, but yeah, like I was thinking about this the other day and I was like, oh, I wonder what my most generous Gatcher is. Because I was playing another game and you just get fuck all. You get like nothing free. And I was like, well, where's the fun in this? Like, what? And then in Limbus, in Limbus, you just log on and they've given you some stuff. <laughs> She's saying, oh, gee, you've jinxed it. Yeah. Without well, a doubt for me. One, yeah. 100%. 100%. Your role's going to be... Oh, shit. Yeah, Vate, you are here. <laughs> no, no, it's going to be fine, Vate. Don't worry, don't worry. I've got plenty. I've got plenty of pulls. And if not, the good news is, if I don't get them, the great thing about this game is these characters are in the dispenser and then I can just get them in here. So, and I've got the stuff to get them because I've got a shitload of boxes, but I, I want to do this because it's fun. So we're okay. Like I'm going to get the one I want, basically. I will get them. Um, Who's second in your opinion? Well, I don't play many gachas anymore. Star Rail is quite generous. I don't play Star Rail, but I have heard it's very generous. Casually gives out just guaranteed temples. Yeah, that is insane. That is crazy. So few games do that. Um, second, I mean, Ark Knights is pretty generous. Ark Knights is quite good, and you can grind out a lot of pulls, and you you can get good stuff. It just depends if you like, because there's so many characters. If you're after a specific character, that's when it gets a little bit more difficult. But you get a lot of great characters from your pulls. So like every pull, you get a character. So Ark Knights is quite good as well. Wouldn't say it's as good as Limbus with its pulls, but like Ark Knights is quite generous. Um, the least generous ones I've played. Punishing Grey Raven's quite good as well, actually. They're they're quite generous with what you get as well. Um, yeah, Genshin, not super generous. It's okay, but you really have to save for your characters. So, like, pulling for everyone just is not an option. Um, Path to Nowhere, I've been playing that a little bit. It's literally the, mo the least generous game I've ever played. Insane. You get nothing. That and Honkai Impact, you get nothing from them. Nothing. It's crazy how little you get. And like, even just from doing the like stages, you don't get anything. And I was like, what? Like, this is crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I might start Art Night sometime. You should. It's a great game. It's a great game. Nikkei gave out 127 free pulls. Wow, that's good. Art Night is somewhat generous, but no spark except for Limited Hurts Me. I do understand that. Yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing. Genshin, I, I see, I, I do love Genshin. The 50-50 system, I don't like because if you save for so long and then you don't get the character that you want, it's a free to play, that does hurt. But Genshin is pretty, yeah, Genshin's like in the middle, I would say. Uh, yeah, th that anniversary, that didn't go over well though. <laughs> that didn't go down super well. 
Um, but yeah, no, to be fair, if you think Genshin is in general, it's Honkai Impact is even less. <laughs> like, I got nothing in that game. It was awful. Like, if I wanted anything, I genuinely had to spend money. You can't get anything if you just play free. Crazy. Dispenser is a game changer. It is. Dispenser is something that so few games do. Yeah. 50-50 does hurt. Playing Grey Raven right now can get two six-star characters by just playing. Yeah, like Grey Raven can be really generous. And they give like free S um S rank characters sometimes. And like, yeah, like Grey Ravens, like they're they're doing it well. Hopefully Withering Waves is the same. I don't know how their banner's gonna be. But yeah. But yeah, like, no, like Path to Nowhere and um Honkai Impact are like two of the worst. They're really bad. I've heard FGO is quite bad as well. I don't know how much you get, but like the pulls themselves, it's quite hard. But yeah. I don't know if like Honkai is gonna change how they're doing it because they're obviously like kind of refreshing the game. So I don't know, but I wasn't particularly interested in part two. So, oops, I nearly just pulled out that on my PC. Anyway, sorry, yeah. <laughs> we got into the whole gacha system there, yeah. Three pulls for the third anniversary. Happy anniversary, guys. <laughs> Honkai's old CEO is the Genshin CEO. Oh, okay, got it, got it. I see, I see. <laughs> Yeah, the Genshin has a good gacha system, but not generous. Yeah, I I think that's fair to say. I would say Genshin's kind of in the middle. It's it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Limbus is definitely one of the best ones. Anyway, sorry, that was a whole talk about the gacha system. Sorry, I just thought I do find it quite fascinating. Is there any games that you guys think are like super generous or not very generous at all? And while we're doing that, I'm gonna do a temple. I've got see, look, I've got flipping thirty three pulls here. Freaking nuts. Right. I hope so. Got to be by Honkai saying new players get a hundred rolls only to find out it was locked behind a one week investment. That's a bit naughty. That's a bit is was that like in the like advertisement? Uh FGO Soft Pity 330 pulls. We do have a dispenser thing, but we get the currency, we've got a lot of five star dupes. Right, okay, okay. But soft pity is 330 pulls. That's crazy. Wow. Trudy, thanks so much for the dono. Limbus is such a good gacha, it turned me off at the gachas. I literally went, oh, Genshin is wasting my time and I might not get one. <laughs> That's fair enough, yeah. That is fair. See, this thing, if you play a gacha game, for the gacha elements and you find a game that's got a really good gacha other gachas are going to be really hard to play but if you're playing it for the story and you're not bothered about what characters you get then like that's kind of a easier way to play it you know it's a free to play player merciful summoning ritual Ooh. have you ever played a moba no i actually have not i've not played a moba no manifesting the bls come on bl <laughs> FGO, you get a lot of resources at the beginning, but after you finish all the quests, it's close to 20 pulls per month, month. And then it's 330 soft pity. Oh, you just never get anyone. Oh. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. The only disadvantage of Elizabeth's company being too generous is the lack of content once you get everything. And yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. But then that's kind of okay, because then the good thing about this game is you're never gonna burn out with it. Like, if you have too much stuff to do, it's so easy to burn out. Whereas, like, with this game, if you just play it when new stuff comes out and the railways and you grind it all out and you do your weeklies, you're not on it all the time. So you're not going to burn out. So that's kind of actually great. Where are you pulling? I think so. <laughs> have you never played League? I have played League, yeah, but as a free-to-play player and I, I just kind of used what I got for free. And then would occasionally, like, when I got stuff saved up, would then, like, buy a character. But I'm not someone that, like, wants every character. So I was like, right. I want, I want Kale and K this Kale skin and I'm done. <laughs> and then I was like, now nah, I want a Philios and I'm done. <laughs> that was literally it for me with leaks. So I was like, I don't want to play anyone else. I've got Kale. I've got my swooshy swords. I'm done. And it, so for me, that wasn't really a problem. Uh, I started playing Limbus in the middle of season one. I have every season ID and quite a lot of ego. So yeah, PM is really free to play. Uh, absolutely. Um, it could almost be to their detriment though, because if you if they had it so that like it was a bit harder to get characters then potentially they might make a little bit more money but the banners are worth buying like i buy the banner every season this is the only game i actually spend it now because i'm like the banner is worth it every season okay come on come on oh wait oh wait no well, wait it's no wait no 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 that's not anything is it no this might be my brex actually yes i was gonna say no my brain my boy! Oh, I mean, I knew I was gonna get him, but still. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I knew I was going to get my. I knew I was going to get Greg, so that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's not quite what I want yet. What kind of game is Limbus? It's a, like, turn based kind of horror game. Kind of like. Think of, like, Darkest Dungeons. It's kind of like that. But it's like. Well, I haven't, I haven't played Darkest Dungeon, but, like, it's so good. If you've not played Limbus, I'd recommend it. <laughs> you get distracted. Focus on pulls. I am getting a little bit distracted. True. Good focus on the pulls. How am I gonna wish Mersault to get here if I don't? Come on! Oof. Oh, okay. Fine, we've got freaking loads to go off. I'm not particularly concerned. Got another Greg. Love that for me. Okay. Just want one Mersault and I'm good. And I'm okay. Like a dungeon crawl? Yeah, kinda, yeah. Oh. Wait. Yes! Wait, is this going to be the Mersault or is this going to be the Faust? It it could be. I bet it's going to be the bloody Faust, isn't it? I bet you. I knew it. <laughs> I... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, it's her ego. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Why do I always get egos on these banners? I get so many egos on these banners. It's kind of nuts. Okay, well, that wasn't what I wanted. Um, okay, I want to save that because I'll be getting daily. Just what? <laughs> Why? That's an ego shame. Yeah, what? That, I, okay. That's fine. Just, okay. Guys, please don't laugh. <laughs> you got trolled like I did. I know, I kind of thought, I was like, oh, maybe if it's this false, I was like, okay, I'll take it. But no, no, not even that. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> we had the Georgie's first week in Olympus and she kept looking for the cannibalism. Look, okay. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> All right, it was there. It did exist. Oh God, that is a lot. We're gonna get, no, no one knew, just oh, fucking hell, Greg. I mean, love you, but I mean, actually no, that's good. Cause then I can shard stuff for you. So actually, yeah, keep coming home. Keep coming home. Oh. Oh, it's glowing off the bat. That is bright. That's a, this could be a Mersault. Oh, it's another ego. <laughs> Please be Mersault. Please. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is it another ego? What Otis? Excuse me, this is going to be the BL stream. Why am I getting Xander? Oh, it is. I mean, the Heathcliff one's really good, so I'll take it. But still, fuck! Oh, That's my BL. <laughs> Another ego. Pain. Pain. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Kuroko McGregor has nothing to offer, so he's kind of bad. Yeah, but he's gonna be adorable on my main screen. He's gonna be so cute. It's trying to take us back to the previous one. It's like, oh, we need someone to love the Christmas 5.5 more than this one, and that will be you. And that did not make me want to do that. You know, no BL for you. Fuck! <laughs> no! No, I just want my BL. The double ego pull is insane. Yeah, I mean, it's got, I can't fault it. It's great. But still, it's not what, like, what? Like, that's not what I want, you know? Oh my curse, you have it too. It is a problem. <laughs> it is a problem. Yeah, last pull. Yeah, we'll do one more and then we'll save the rest. We'll save the rest and I'll shard. I'll shard. I'm, get I'm getting the Mersault. It doesn't matter what. Oh, I mean, okay. Unless it's a fake out. Mm. Oh, Mersault, why? Why have you done this to me, dude? All I wanted was for you to just come home, you know? What is this, man? What is this? Huh? Oh, I could get- Oh, I could get this. Oh, it'll be- Oh, no, that. Okay. So, I need maths. 230. That's <laughs> what I need. Right. No, no, it's fine. No, it's it's fine. No, it's fine. Don't don't even worry about it. I've got- Oh, yeah, I can do those. Yeah. I didn't even have those. See, look, I've got 1,036 boxes. Like, I've got- I'll, I'll, Like, we've got freaking loads. So how many do we need? So we need like, uh, so we need 230. So we need like a hundred and, oh God, maths. Oh, sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, 115, I think. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that 
long as that was on there. Uh, yeah, like 115. Lupus is the nicest gacha. No, it is. Like, it is a great gacha, but like, it's the fact that I can do this as well. So it is still a great gacha. Oh God, please pick the right one, G. Please pick the right one. This one, yeah. Okay, yeah, confirm. Okay, so how many do I have now? 408, awesome. It's fine. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so few games just let you do this. Like, that's crazy. Yes, we got him! <laughs> the gacha is so good, guys. <laughs> My full profile gym. Yeah, VT! I nearly didn't get him. Do you know what I would have done? Oh, did you do some off-stream grinding? Yeah, I've been doing like Mirror Dungeon. I've like, um, I actually fit, oh my God. I finished the hard Mirror Dungeon for the first time the other day. I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe I'd finally fully completed it. I know you guys do it, but like, you know, like I'm not good at this game. So like I finally completed it. And then obviously like I've been, you get a shitload from just like the banner and stuff. So yeah, so. That's Paul. Oh my God, thanks guys. That's so crazy. I can't believe how like lucky I was. As long as I need the fan art. <laughs> Best ID, literally love him congrats thank you thank you but yes looks like a manhua protagonist here yeah i love it i love it uh which mh3 wait, which md 3h boss did you get that's a great oh my god which one did we get this was like three in the morning by the way oh god which boss did we get i know i had um oh the name what's the name oh god what's the name Oh, the we- the- the we- I know I ha oh, I know I had the fairy. The fairy with the freaking tree that was driving me insane with that bloody dizzy- No, the- no, not the one with the tree, sorry. The one with the- the drink, the alcoholic drink. That one drives me nuts. I hate that boss. I know I had the Ishmael's whale. Uh, well, not the whale, the- like, porpoise or whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it, but I know I had that one. What else did I have? I was also- I did also try to do the refraction well with the same night and I got really stuck on Ahab. Um, what else did I have? The Fey Lantern. Yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, Fairy Gentleman. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and I know I had, yeah, the other one. Do you know how to use him? No. <laughs> Does that matter? I've got it now. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Silk Current. Yeah, had that bitch. I know that bitch was came up because insane inset just so annoying <sighs> so yeah that one was annoying i'm trying to think who else i had though the other ones were like okay but those two i really struggled with that might have been my final one maybe no i know what it was it was the no that was that was like the third or the fourth one no it was the it was like four bosses at once yes because i remember i was so proud of myself for doing it Oh man, so it was the guy from Kanto 3 with the sword. I always forget the name. It was the Maracas lady. It was, um, oh God, what's the other character that was there? There was another character there that I've completely forgotten. And then it was like the, the, e the ego, the big like stone ego. And you have to get it to like pass over stuff to the, to the enemies to then kill them because they heal every turn. My form empties, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it was that. You gotta read. Yeah, it was like the statue. So it was like the four bosses at once. Yeah. Yeah, because I was really proud of myself for doing it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that was it. <laughs> you buy the statue? Yeah, and I actually did it. I was so proud of myself. Yeah, it was like that. So it was like four bosses. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was rough. It was, it was rough. We got some people killed. Yeah, that's it. My four empties. Guido, Maracas, and um, that's it, the Cockroach Commander, thank you. Yes, yes, you know exactly what I mean. Every, I think every time I watch you play, I get convinced to play a new gacha. <laughs> oh, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> well, I mean, if you watch some of my other stuff, you might also get convinced to play stuff that isn't gacha, because I'm playing more of that too. My beautiful man. Oh my, oh, but guys, Rhino Mersault though. He's just so... Oh, how am I going to replace him, though? Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Oh, yeah, because I got a new ego for you, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, no, no, I want to keep that one. Yeah, that, yeah, that one. Yeah. Hey, you got a new ego as well. Flipping heck! Got bloody loads. What the heck's now gonna be better? What is that? Pierce for Oh. Mm. Interesting. Deal time seven for every. Oh. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Don't know if that's actually any good. Okay. And entities. Oh. How did I get you? Don't remember getting this one. Oh, I really just don't pay attention. I think to be honest. Oh, I got me. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> Do you know what? I think I just got Rhino. <laughs> I was like, no one else exists. <laughs> God damn, right. Uh, BL has got nice lines too. I am excited. If you build the BL team with Kim Sol, you can ignore majority of gimmicks and just go swing, swing, get staggered, get staggered, get staggered, get staggered, get staggered. Uh, you can put him on a poster and have Rhino Mersault with you. True. That is true. I could do that. I played Arknights because of you. I hope that you... I hope that you in, in are enjoying it now. Hex nail is good. Okay. How many blade IDs do you have? That's a great I that's a great question. Well, I've definitely got one there. Oops. So I don't have the Yisang one, which doesn't surprise me. And I don't even know if I'd use it if I did. Obviously, I've not got yours. No. No. Obviously, you've got that one. Oh, I've got Hong Lu's. The two. Oh, you'd have one. You'd have one. No. No. Oh, no, he does, yeah. Oh, I've got Otis's. And then I've got... Ah, oh, he's so cute. I love him. And then I've got Greg's. My... Oh, I freaking love Greg. Definitely my favourite character. I literally uptied the pirate just because I was proud of getting it. <laughs> I didn't even like using the pirate that much. I was like, I'm using it. <laughs> Regardless. Oh. Oh, I miss Rhino already. Um, the shadow really make him look like he... Wait, what? Wait, which one? Can anyone tell Doubt G just to extract Faust so she won't be able to see season five and her crates will get cut in half at the end of the season? Cope? I mean, that's a good point. It should be, it'll be there though, won't it? So, yeah. So... Oh, oh, I see. Oh, it's not Blade Lineage? Oh, you're right. It's not, sorry. Yeah, not Blade Lineage. Okay, then... I've got two. Yeah, two, I think. Yeah, I think I've just got them two. So a Blade Lineage team is not gonna happen, basically, so. But yeah, so it doesn't quite count. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Get BL Yi Sang and Max him, he's goated. Pretty sure Kurokomo and BL count. Well, what I'll do, what I'll do is we will, I could borrow a Yi Sang and try the Yi Sang with the Mersault while I'm playing and see if I like it. Because if I, I don't want to waste more if I don't like it because I am extraordinarily attached to Spice Bush. So get, swapping me out of Spice Bush is actually going to be a problem because like out of all of them, well, maybe not, may, Sinclair's also going to be a tough sell for me and also the Otis one at this point. But like getting me to swap out of this one is going to be tough. So I might borrow and see if it's worth it. But for now, I think we'll, let me have a look at the skills and stuff. You need one more. Yeah, I actually used Rhinosaur for this event. Only got the BL team for the grind afterwards. So you got this. I mean, to be fair, I could just do that. <laughs> I could just do that to be fair. Bring them to the team of support or Aura and Blade get a bonus on the, oh, okay. So it will be good. Wait, you don't have the Yi Sang? He was free though? No, I don't have the Yi Sang. When was the Yi Sang free? Oh, no, I don't. Okay, draw of the sword. So gain poise. Okay, okay. Oh, right, we're going with the poise. Okay. And then on okay. And then gain poise. Let's do count. Doing slash power next turn. 30% damage on crit hit. Okay. And then yield my flesh. Ah! So dope. Okay, so gain three aggro. Okay, on the skill slot next turn. Until this skill ends, this unit cannot be staggered from taking damage. Oh, whoa. Can't be. Oh, that's sick. He was free on launch. Oh, then I. Well, I didn't play until like Kanto 4 came out, right? It's been. It's been. It's not been like a full year yet since I started playing. So, yeah, I didn't play for a while. Season 1 plays gone free. Yeah, I joined like season 3. <laughs> season 4. I think it was season 4, actually. <laughs> I joined well late. 
PM fan reading, holy hell. Only because if I don't prove that I'm reading, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I will get accused of not reading later. And I then to be fair, it doesn't matter. I can read it, don't mean I understand it. So sometimes I just need to practice. So gain five poise on clash win, which is good. So on a hit, gain a potency based chance to deal crit damage, reducing the count by one if successful. Oh, oh damn. Okay, after getting hit, use claim their boat. Oh my god, they actually have that skill! Eee! Oh my god, that's so exciting. Deal two plus more damage on crit hit for every poise potency on self. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. On, on crit, okay, yeah. 15 plus damage on crit hit. Deal. Fucking hell, that's tanky. If you can get a lot of poise going. Right. Damn, so you kind of want to do... So it, you'd actually kind of want to do the skills in order, right? Because you'd want your slash power to be up for next turn when you do this, really, wouldn't you? So yeah, I kind of feel like this is... Oh, the, oh. Oh, damn. So the... Oh, okay. Right, okay. Deal 0.5 per 1% missing HP on self. Shit. So you can make them, like, super... Super... No, you joined at season two. Did I? Season one was three. Did I? Season two? Wait, was it season two? Because I didn't have to wait for any of the Sinclair stuff to come out. Did I? <laughs> wait, I thought it was Yi Sang stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, wait, I don't know. Flame on Bones. Oh, right, yeah. So overthrow, gain one slash power up for next turn, gain two poise. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so you could also do a counter. And damn. Okay. All right. To claim their bones. This is exciting. So at 10 poise, attack weight plus one. Right. Okay. So you want to get your poise up before you. Okay. So until the skill ends, this unit cannot be staggered. Deal two plus two percent more damage on critical hit for every poise potency yourself. 20% damage on crit hit. Deals 0.5% more damage for every 1% and inflict three bleed and five paralyze next turn. Well, that's a damn. So that's if you like defend. That's freaking good. Damn. It's currently season three. By Kanto. Oh, sorry. I'm in my brain. I'm going by Kanto. Oh, okay. Yeah. Season two. Oh, I see. See, I've never referred to it like that. I just go by Kanto. Sorry. Yeah. It was Kanto like four that I started playing, but obviously I like had to go back to the beginning. But yeah, like it was like Kanto four finished. Like was either came out or was, was like just finishing up when I started playing. So yeah. Because then I had to like wait for certain things. And I was like playing through the other bit of the story when 4.5 came out. And then I've had to wait for like Kanto 5. That's if skill 3 fails. Yep. You get So if this fails and you clash lose, you then get that. Dang. Right. That's a skill. Oh, I see. I see. Damn. That's nuts. Okay. It, you know, you know how it is with me. We've got always got to try. If a blade lineage allies defeated, lose ten regardless of the allies' level. If the level of the defeated ally was higher than this unit, it's decreased based on level difference. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, intriguing. Okay, all right. Well, let's build the level up anyway. Um, how many is that going to take? We're not going to eat that. Oh my god, no. 128? That's, not... <laughs> uh, that's probably the best one. Bloop. Beautiful. Just realised. Oh no, I've gone off. <laughs> We're fine. Um, What I'll do is I'm going to skip the story that pops up when I do this because I don't want to spoil the story that we're about to play and then I'll come back and read this afterwards. But I don't want it. But someone said it was like a little bit spoilery. Um, still confusing at this point because we're doing one canto per season, but season one launched with cantos one to three. Yeah, you must lose a clash with you on my flesh in order to claim their bones. Yeah, so that is going to be a good thing. So they outside adding unique SP mechanics very recently, and I think it's neat. It doesn't spoil, not spoilerish. Story skip, but no, I'm trying not to get spoiled. Okay, it's you have like four hundred thread boxes. I know. <laughs> It doesn't it doesn't have spoilies oh okay so it is okay pretty sure it's not spoilery okay that's fine well we'll find out oh 
I barely even got to read that. Unless it's rapping again. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay. You play Ruiner, so it's like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's from before Ruiner. Ooh. Okay, that's exciting. I have made my move. Oh, so you have. An old man garbed in glistening... Oh, she probably should have done an older voice. Okay. Um, an old man garbed in glistening white dopo robe sat opposite the child who wore a hat woven from horsehair and bamboo. The furnace was dark and unlit. The room was freezing. The two sat without even lighting a candle, the moonlight on their only source of illumination. Yet the moon was fully waxed and bright. Bright enough to cast its cold light upon the black and white stones on the board. The second state councillor and his bodyguard were having a silent discussion via the game of Baduk. I think that's how you say it. Apologies, young man. I was absorbed in thought. It's quite all right. We have not set a time limit for this game. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, that's the back of his head, but it's not. It's it's that's his nose. Yeah. The old man gently chuckled. He sat there for a moment, toying with the black stones in the bowl. No worries, wait to catch you later. Mind me not, second state councillor. I am but a student in this match. It'd be unbecoming of me to bid you to hurry. Yet you are quite impatient now, no? Black. The sound of the smooth pebbles grinding against each other ceased. Has it been seven winters already? Yes. I have been your protector for seven years and four months, Second State's Counselor. Time passes fast. Hmm. May I ask you for your opinion? I am certain that your perspective may vary from mine. I was raised in affluence, yet you have clawed your way up from the bottom. The child began fiddling with the stones again, briefly absorbed in the thought. Then he answers with a gentle voice. The path you walk is a dark and arduous one. But I believe that you walk that path with unyielding tenacity for the good of this nest and its feathers. The old man knitted his brows. Perhaps the child's answer wasn't what he was looking for. You have not once shared your opinion with me ever since you became my protector. I suppose that is why I am content with you by my side. I apologize. My response must not have been to your satisfaction. <laughs> there is no need for apologies. You had the potential to become a blade of clouds had you served the third state councillor instead. Ooh, a blade of clouds? That sounds sick. Um, Kim Salt might be peak. I hope it's not peak. I hope it's like peak and then there's like more peak. <laughs> I don't want this to be like the only peak, you know? I want a full mountain <laughs> from this game. Is that not the title all those who walk the path of the blade in S-Corp seek? To be recognized as one of the very best in the nest. Not even you would jest that you have never sought one such privilege. I am your blade to wield, Second State Counselor. You are the one who chose me. The child responds immediately and indifferently. A blade follows the hand that wields it, and you are that hand, Second State Counselor. <laughs> Uh, this is not a move one makes without nary a thought, young man. I saw no reason for hesitation. The old man, the second state councillor, smiled, but there was a tinge of woe in his eyes. If that is your answer, then I have something to ask of you, though I hardly deserve to. I will do as you command. Next week, I plan to present this appeal. May I ask you to protect me until then? I fail to see your purpose in asking me to do the duties that I am already intent on performing. Ah, uh, do you seek to dismiss me after this? <laughs> I see that your talent in jests has grown since we first met. Written in this appeal are the hideous conspiracies, heinous deeds and studies that have been conducted in secret. Should the contents of my appeal be made public, it will shake Escort to its roots. That is the strength this appeal carries. And such revelation. Re rev blah, blah. <laughs> Revelatory strength begets those that seek to destroy it. Assassins. Then he'll be the GL. I know. I hope someone will be. You know? We've got all these BL references. Where's my GL references? You know? Where are they? 
I am also wondering that, Ashley. <laughs> Be my blade so I may see this path to its end. That is my request. It shall be done. The child replied without a moment of hesitation. He had, not, he had no reason to, because he never questioned the fact that it was his purpose to protect the second state counsellor. And that is why the child could not even imagine that he would ever fail. The old man perished, despite the child's vow. Oh. Oh. The child's skill with the blade were unparalleled, yet there was so much that in a single person could manage. The powers be that of S-Corp held resources and ploys that no single human could possibly withstand. No one in S-Corp quite knew who murdered the old man, or how he was murdered. He was killed in a manner that could never be traced. But the child knew- Ooh, vengeance! Oh, the music! Oh, this is fucking goaded! Oh my god! This might be one of my favorite fucking IDs they've ever done. Holy shit, failed to protect his master. <laughs> it was the old man's political enemy the third state councillor's doing wait is that a neck is that a body is that a beheaded body that there's a dead person how have i never noticed that i know there's i can see a dead person there is that a dead person this is freaking thick though i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> Hope Heathcliff gets the sire identity. Imagine exposing his chat. clear. I'm done. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> Give us more. <laughs> the third state council is doing. It is before sunbreak. Not a soul stirs awake in this hour. Holy shit. This music is fucking amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! What is just left? Yeah, the bones got claimed. That's what it was. There was another old man sleeping, yet soon awakened by a noise from outside his window. What? I is there anyone out there? The old man peeked open the sliding paper door to his room. <laughs> and came face to face with the child. It was you. H how are you still alive? How did you even get in here? The child was surrounded by corpses of decapitated men. He glared at the third state councillor with a look of the fiend. There was naught but a silence of dead men who were once his bodyguards. If you cut me down, I shall, it shall not end with your neck. Your entire family, your entire bloodline shall be purged. The royal court will send the... That's a word. How, do, how the fuck do I say that? Chun... Chunokun? Chunokun. I'm sorry if I've said that wrong. I don't know how to pronounce that against you. You must know how terribly tenacious they are. They will not let the borders of a nest stop them. Escorp, a wing, the heavy places, heavy, em sorry, the places heavy emphasis on a tradition and hierarchies off sends the Chunun Unokun, I think, after contractors who have fled or violated a taboo. Within Escorp, the fixers might as well be called Please, use this word, I can't say it! Chunun-kun. <laughs> they are spot on. Is that actually? <laughs> I feel like I'm saying it wrong. And the Chunun-kun. <laughs> I think I'm saying it wrong now. Um, sent by the royal court are known as the taboo hunters of the other wings. They are deadlier and more tenacious than any pursuers. Slave hunter. Oh, got it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's good to know. I will not cut you down. Your death will change nothing. The child's voice is terrifyingly cold and collected. Let this be a warning still. A warning that if I ever find anyone who is capable of tearing these putrid roots from the ground, I will return. A warning that I can easily separate your pathetic head from your body as a blade cuts through weed. Oh, I want these voice lines so much. Oh, why do I have these voice lines? I want this red owl by Muscles VA! <laughs> it would be so good. Ooh! With that, the child disappears into the early morning wind. Men, find the best tuna cocoon in the nap. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Now, arrest anyone who has ties to that man. I want them hung before me. The child left the third state councillor's echoing bellows behind and resolutely made his way to the borders of escort. His persecuted fellows, who were barely maintaining their status, status as feathers of, at escort, those who wielded their blades under the banner of the blade lineage, 
he would one day return to this place with them by his side. Damn, that was like probably the coolest story we've had. That was sick. That was so sick. Holy peak drip slay. Agreed. Piss me off again. I'll claim your bones. Oh my god. Dude. Uh, okay. Um, we're just gonna use a couple. Let's just up tie four. Let's just go the full hole. He deserves it. That was sick. If someone deserves it, it's him. And we've got 921 boxes. I think I can afford it. <laughs> Use this. There you go. I think I can just about manage. Meh. Yes. Wee. Up tie. Yes. You deserve it. You deserve it. Now reread the skills. Okay. Right. Wait, did that change? Was that- wait, that wasn't there before. Sword of Homeland Rending? That's changed! Oh! Oh! Okay. Interesting. Now build full blade lineage team with Kim Sol. I only have one other blade lineage person. Um, <laughs> you have enough boxes to get every meal ever. <laughs> yeah, we've got just a few boxes. Look, okay. <laughs> I like playing this game. What can I tell you? Okay. Right. So, at five poise, coin power plus one. Apply one sword of the homeland. So, skill one gains final power by the effects count this turn. To highest A resonance. Other blade lineage. Oh. That's why you need other blade lineage allies. You need them for him to be at his most powerful. Right. Now I can see why we need them right oh my god it's just so cool holy shit you should probably get faust well what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna borrow um someone was saying yi sang's good i mean i could borrow a faust i could try a faust before i get them i could always do that he became a spawn the bl team yeah that's crazy it's fun it's easy to play and it's cool i mean the cool status does matter it does matter. Um, I see. To other blade lineage allies in ascending order of speed. If there are six or more blade lineage identities in the encounter, apply two instead. Oh. Damn. Okay. And then gain two poise. And then on hit gain. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can get to five poise pretty quick. And then at seven plus poise, coin power plus one. Apply the get skill two gains final power by the... Oh, right. I see. And then if the six do the same, and then gain three, and then gain one. Right. Okay. Oh, this is yeah. <laughs> Remember when Yi Sang played Lineage's first ID gift at launch? They've been building to this this whole time. They've been building to this this whole time. So he only buffs his teammates, but if his teammates dies, he buffs himself. I see. But he can solo. He's not. He's so strong because he not only. He himself stomps, but because he makes all other Blade <laughs> stomp just as hard as him. That's crazy. That's so good, though. Oh, my gosh. Right, well, what I'll do then is I'll borrow another Blade Lineage member and, like, test this out while we're playing and see how it goes. And I'll see if I like it because investing in a whole team is quite a commitment. So I need to make sure I like it and it's worth it. Um to do it for me because i do like using the range of characters that i'm using but having like a full squad that could be like right we're eating in with this full squad would be good so let me borrow i'll borrow someone and we'll test it out um run this id in captain ishmael's team with two other bl ids it's very fun with a lot of ways to use it that's kind of what i'm getting which is kind of great so okay so gain so yield my flesh gain three aggro which same until the skill out skill ends this unit cannot be staggered perfect gain five poise which is good. And then after getting hit, use claim bones. Deal 3% more damage over crit hit. Okay, and then, okay. And then gain one slash power up next turn. Deal more damage for every 1% missing HP. Gain two poise. And then for every seven poise on self, attack weight plus one. Until the skill ends, this unit cannot be staggered. Deal 2% more damage on crit hit for every poise potency on self. 30% more damage on critical hit. Deal 0 0.5 more damage. Oh, fucking hell, this unit's a tank. Well, not like a tank. They're like... I can, the damage, I can see the damage being super fucking high. 
uh, missing HP on self. If the, tar if the still targets only a en single enemy, deal 100% more damage. Damn. That's crazy. And then three bleed and five. Fucking hell. Okay. All right. Okay. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Right. We are going to use you today. I'm going to miss you, Rhino Mersault. Um, <laughs> going to be hard leaving you at home. Um, <laughs> we will cope somehow. But yeah. And then... BL Sinclair S1 can roll above average. Oh. It's still bad, even with Kim. So that's the only other one I've got. <laughs> Just... 10 to 11k damage whoa 10 to 11k damage holy shit well i'll either borrow the Ye a bl Yi sang or a bl faust that's kind of seems like what i should borrow right let's let should we play the new event <laughs> it's been over an hour <laughs> just been looking at ids Ooh, that was cool how's the volume by the way you the first of the oh okay dude this music Ooh, what's that Ooh. Oh, it's like a sword sheath. Okay. Dudes, I'm so excited. Did you read? Oh, did I not read? Oh, wait. Did I not read the passive? My brain. Sorry, my brain. I was like, hey, look, I'm going off two hours sleep here. <laughs> I've got an excuse. I'm, I, I've just come off night shift. Okay. So when three or more blade lineage allies are defeated, when gaining poise potency count with this unit's uh, own coins and coin effects, gain one more of each. Oh, wow. Okay. So it like when they die, you buff. Okay. When five or more are defeated, gain two more of each. Oh, shit. So if you're like last man standing, you're going to be like a buff little, little dude. Okay. And apply sword to the homeland on self. So when at five plus poise upon skill you skill one and skill two gain coin power. <laughs> oh my god, and deal. Holy crap, damage on crit here. When seven plus poise upon skill you skill three deals more. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, so you kind of want everyone else to die? Because like you just get a super like tanky unit. Oh man. We don't read because it took so long. Form the shops, so you have to buy them with the sword you collect. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm excited. The, it's okay. The music's okay. Okay, good. Okay. When this unit gain, oh, fucking, this is long. In this encounter, when this unit takes damage that brings their HP down to zero, nullify that damage. Then this unit's HP cannot drop below one for the turn. Wait, that's actually that's a skill in Library of Runa that this character had as well. Damn. Okay. When this unit gains points potency with its own skill or coin effects, give one poise potency and one poise count to two of the blade lineage allies with no poise or at least poise. Or with the least poise. If the six or more participating in this encounter, give two poise potency and two poise count instead. Um, comment style, apply buff to all of the blade lineage allies. Right. I see. Okay. And then comment style, one ally with the most poise deals 15 points. <sighs> Right, so I can definitely see how you could benefit from having more Blade Lineage people on this team. Okay. Right. I'm ready. Unrelenting. That's so dope. I'm surprised that Limbus Company player is reading now. Reading, guys. Reading. Listen. Like I said earlier, I have to prove that I read. <laughs> it doesn't mean I always understand it first time. I usually have to practice a bit. Dude, this music is so sick already. This music is amazing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, let's let's read this. Otherwise, we're never actually gonna read. I didn't even read, but I don't care. I just want to read it. Okay, let's read. Okay, I'm gonna do the voices. I can't remember the voice I did last time. Okay, we'll just go for it. Heathcliff, I'm just gonna do my normal voice because British, you know. So we're finally here. Heathcliff looked out of the rattling bus window with a dour expression. Though it wasn't raining, the world outside was grey and opaque like an overcast sky. Black, pungent clouds of smoke had long devoured the atmosphere. Finally! I'm so sorry! <laughs> so, this is the kind of place Heathcliff used to roam. The colour remains grey this deep into the heart of the back streets. I recall with quite a certitude that the T Corp I arrived at my departure from Escort was sepia hued. This phenomenon can be explained by the fact that technology used to drain our situation. Our, used to drain our saturation is situated at the center of T Corp. It has been reported that such variations in hue may occur in areas further away from the sphere of influence. Ah, I understand. Then, two of the sinners immediately jumped in on the conversation to direct it away from whichever obscure subject he sang and Faust were about to steer it into. 
Oh, do you guys want me to do my Rodia Russian accent or no? Because I don't know if, I don't know, because I, I like canoning Rodian with a Russian accent, but A, my Russian accent is not the best, and B, it depends. So, kind of up to you. <laughs> Honglu and Rodia dolled up Heath. Oh shit, yeah, I didn't even see. I need to see. I was too busy reading. I was too busy reading. I need to, I need to see this gorgeous haircut. I wish we'd seen that. I wish we'd seen it. Yes. Yes. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Russian accent Rodia is great. Da. Yes, I like it. Okay, okay. It might take me a minute to get into it, but yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just go ahead and cook. Okay, I'll burn it a little bit, but... <laughs> um, right, let me just practice. One minute, just give me a second. All right, I had something to ask you guys. Oh, yeah, um, me too. <laughs> oh, little Craig, I love him. What? I, I mean, yeah, that's, uh, oh, yeah. The buildings here look a little different from where Yi Sang used to live. So I'm just wondering if there is anything up with that. I still can't roll my R's, by the way. I need to practice. Exactly, that's exactly what I was about to ask. It's been a while since we started on this journey together. I was starting to grow more comfortable with the uh, sinners. Maybe that's why I found Gregor and Rodia's valiant effort to keep this conversation remotely comprehensible to most occupants of the bus pretty amusing. Ah, uh, allow me to elaborate then. To discuss this subject, we must first, and Yi Sang unknowingly shooting down their effort by jumping onto another complicated discussion, was a sight I'd become familiar with. I look at his cute little face and he's smiling. I love him. While I was curious about the technology T Corp uses to drain our colour, and about behind the scenes T Corp operations, it wasn't something that could be answered now. I decided to table that discussion for later. Instead, I approached Heathcliff. He was sitting on his lonesome, clearly in deep thought. Ah, he looks so smart. Hmm? Ah, clockhead. Still racking your head about what to wear to Withering Heights? <laughs> My brain went to Withering Waves. <laughs> what? No? Nothing like that. Heathcliff protested, jumping up from his seat. Looks like I hit the nail right on the head. I'm so excited to be Kanto. So excited. Fine, I was a little bit, but I'm mostly reminiscing about the past. Hmm, I do remember hearing that Heathcliff used to live in the back streets. A part of some syndicate, if I recall correctly. Vigilis did say that we were going through the back streets instead of going straight to the T Corp nest for a reason, and that it was because of company orders. Maybe there's something for us to do here? Heathcliff did spend some time in the T Corp, back streets after all. Maybe we'll run into a golden bow here. No chance. If the golden bow was as common as any other twig in some back streets, why would we be doing any of this globe trotting waste of time? True, I, I guess. Besides, Withering Heights is quite the manor in more ways than one. Oh my god, we're going to a manor. You won't find it anywhere near some rundown back streets like this. I want a ball. I want them all to dress up in the ball, and I want awkward dancing. That is what I want for Canto 6. I want it. <laughs> I want it so badly. <laughs> Please. There's a chasm of wealth between these poor alleyway sods and them. Heathcliff lately has been so, I don't know, it's like, w what, Sai? After all, they've sent me an invitation. Quite obvious that we'll find our golden bow in that manor in it, or at least somewhere in the same nest. Correct, we will eventually travel to T-Corp's nest. Heathcliff continued to speak in a low voice. The hubbub from outside the bus seemed to blend in with his words turning into a mass of murmurs. There was sort of a commotion outside. Before we talk about wherever our eventual destination is, we'll have to clear the road of some blockage. Your intuition is half right, Heathcliff. <laughs> Heathcliff, who was muttering to himself in an uncharacteristic daze, jolted awake. Bloody hell, what's wrong with you and the vroom vroom lass? Neither you ever do anything with a proper forewarning. I simply did not see the necessity of warning you. Anyway, those outside the bus are our targets. Targets? Put Gregor in a hot suit and I will distort and I will be right there with you. <laughs> Put any of them in a hot suit and I will distort. It's gonna be insane. I believe he means to say that they must be eliminated. I feel compelled to let you know that this is not the only implication of the word target, though I am yet to be informed of the precise details of this mission, that is. Regardless. You are to make contact with the target among them. 
Find the target and then extract the necessary intel. Is this clear enough for you, manager? How are we supposed to find this target if you're not even going to tell us who it is? Dante asks if there's an identifying characteristic to this target. I'm sure you'll find out when you get there. You are asking me the questions. I have no answers to, Dante. Don't waste your time. Theme sure George gained some lust affinity. Listen, who hasn't? Okay. Well, off the boss, Sol. I was somewhat wary of the way Vigilus answered me, but even in situa murky situations like these, we've always managed to pull through anyway. I'm sure things will get a little clearer once we get there. I slowly disembarked the bus with the rest of the sinners. Oh. But yeah, is there anything you guys really want to see in Kanto 6? Nice. Okay. Oh, got to do a cheeky little fight. The first thing we noticed the moment we disembarked the bus was a crowd of swordsmen all garbed in black cloaks engaged in a fierce battle. One side was loud and bustling while the other side was quiet and somber. Perhaps the latter side was losing. What could we possibly gain from this? Okay, so let's... That one, isn't it? Support. Yeah, let me borrow... Yeah, let's borrow a Faust. So who wait, let me <laughs> I need to actually just reorganize my team. Right. Do this. Actually, does it say I want it? No, but the music is fucking amazing already. Oh my god. Oh, I just realized. Sorry, 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 sorry. That one. Okay. Do 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 do. do. Let's bring them. I want Canto 6 to make me weep, Catherine. I mean, we better. We better do. The mythical Envy Petrico. <laughs> Just for the enemies? Five fancy clothes. I want to see a spider of marriage making an appearance. That could happen. That could happen. That one's headed your way, Anarchy. Don't worry about me. I'll handle him. Try not to get yourself killed. You got that? What a mess. Oh, wow. The environment's cool. We walked out of the bus and right into what appeared to be a battlefield of a violent gang war. Black cloaks flutter under the grey sky and bloodthirsty blades clash violently. The bus had stopped not even 30 paces away from the thick of the battle. The mental image of Don in a ball gown trying to walk the waltz with her, so it's a mental image. I need to look to form. That's so good. And like, <laughs> I can imagine like Sinclair like awkwardly being forced to dance <laughs> with, with one of the women and just being like, ah! They're the Kurokomo clan? Kurokumo clan. I've said it wrong, sorry. Um, I've heard of them before. Equip BLK Coyotes for the bonus event currency. Do I have to use them in the fight? 50% chance Catherine dies. I'm going to put that up to 75. I reckon that could happen. The most good thing about Canto 6 is what Heath's Canto ID is going to be like for Ish. It was clear for Heath, but we're not sure what we'll get. Yeah. I'm curious. Sinclair dance with Ryoshu? I don't think Ryoshu. I don't know if Ryoshu would. <laughs> I'm sure we had some identities from that syndicate. Some identity card said Wakashu too. They're a pretty large subsidiary of an even larger syndicate called The Thumb. I think the identities wore similar outfits to the ones wearing here. Oh my god, we're getting thumb lore. <laughs> Just equip them? Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll do it next time. Yep. I think you're right, but who are they fighting? It's got to be a strife. Heathcliff replied in a monotone voice like he was re re a reading from an encyclopedia. It ain't a rare sight to see syndicates fighting one another in the back streets. Must be something about the street tax or some trivial turf dispute. Leeches, blood-sucking curs seeking to oppress and exploit the weak with violence. Fee, there is nary a place these scum do not infest. It ain't anything new, lass. Mostly syndicates are like that. The only difference between them is how far they're willing to go. Like... Right, there he is. Looks like that one over there. The one walking right at us. Heathcliff raised his bat and pointed it at the approaching man. He wore the same outfit as the other Kurokomo Kumo clan members. The hell are you looking at? Crowding you, like you're here to start shit. Gonna keep pointing that bat at me? You wanna go? Is that it? Hey, lower your weapon. Let's not do anything rash. No need to escalate this further, is there? Otis stepped in to warn Heathcliff, but he did not budge. He remained motionless, the bat raised and pointing threateningly at the approaching man. Won't matter what we do here. It's a foregone conclusion. Th that we're going to have... Ha my... oh, that was not a good voice. That we're going to have to fight him? That was also not a good voice, but we're going to go with it. Right on, lad. They're in the middle of a strife. They'll be real sensitive about making it clear that this is their turf. 
What better way to do it than forcing some unwitting travellers to pay the toll for the road? He's got a new haircut, so handsome. He is handsome. He's great. Don next canto. West side. It's not. It's not about love story. It's this year revenge story. Heath Pat. Yeah, yeah. I think there's going to be some interesting lessons to learn from it for sure. <laughs> Looks like we've got a smart one here. Oh shit! The Kurakumo hen a clan henchman strutted before us like he owned the place. Just as I begin to wonder how dumb you could possibly be, you show us your shrewd detective side. Gotta say, it's a real mystery. Ishmael muttered at Heathcliff, who was shrugging at us with an expression that clearly read, I told you so. Well, since it looks like you clowns already know how this works, let me get straight to the point. The toll is 500,000 an per person. 500,000 an? Let's see here. One, two, right. I count 13 of you here, and since you guys all rode in on one bus, I'm sure there's a driver in there too. Don't you skimp out on us now. I'd like it if we didn't have to make this business messy by going through the bus ourselves. Did you hear that, Dante? This is totally a highway robbery. It kind of is, isn't it? Well, it didn't matter how much they were asking for. I wasn't going to negotiate with them anyway. Ishmael turned and quietly looked in my direction. I nodded back. Halt! They're in that field of battle! Don Quixote pointed at something. There lies a wounded dame. We must make haste and rescue her. Thouest would agree, no? Just as Don Quixote said, I could catch a glimpse of someone bleeding out on the ground through the chaos of clashing blades and black cloaks. Oi, what do I say about this justice rubbish? It's just a syndicate turf war, yeah? No more. No one's more or less honourable than the other. Agreed. It is no complicated mathematics to expect unnecessary allied casualties in this effort should we involve ourselves in this conflict. Alas, I do not wish to leave her behind so undefended. I guess it's an improvement. In the early days of our adventures, we would have been dragged into this conflict five minutes ago thanks to Don Quixote's recklessly valiant, valiant att um, rescue attempt. Mm. I suppose she's learned her lessons by trial of fire. She was trying to show restraint for once. But it's a bit different this time. Okay, so I do think that we have to help that woman, but... Ooh! What? Manager, I didn't think that this was a nod, what that nod was about. No, no, I'm saying that we should get involved because it's the right thing to do or anything like that. If Agilis was telling us the truth earlier, there's a chance that we were purposely made to drive through, th right through the strife, which means there must be something in here they're expecting us to find. They always put us in dangerous way for a reason, after all. I just have a feeling that the wounded woman might have something to tell us, maybe an intel of some kind. And if it turns out that we're supposed to get the intel from the Kuro Clo Co Kumo clan, and not that woman, then I suppose we'll have to beat it out of them. Uh-huh. Marvelous, executive manager. I, Otis, am actually awestruck by your genius. Actually? What, is she implying that her usual flattery is phony? Yes! Finally! Otis is a bit sus. I've been saying this since the freaking beginning. Of course it is! Of course it is not real. 100%. I'm excited too, actually, Hiroko. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Heathcliff's sword be ruined. Heathcliff's been long married to me. Five years? Damn. As long as it's not Greg, it's fine. <laughs> they can marry once you just thought. <laughs> I don't like the way you're treating the Kuroklomo clan as we're some kind of pack of stray dogs. And I don't think I miss the sympathetic look you gave her, which could only mean that you clowns are chummy with the blade lineage. I could practically hear our negotiations, not that I was going to negotiate, falling apart as the man drew his blade. A rational deliberation followed by sensible decision. I will return my appreciation for your magnificent leadership with a flawless victory. All units, prepare for battle. Another ego. No way, I would never doubt my dear Otis. I would. I'll doubt her for you. Okay. Now I've got to figure out what's going on. <laughs> right, let's read. Right, so a tense. They're tense. Kurokumo henchman. Okay, so they've got some skills. Love that. Swipe, slice, keen slash, evade. On a hit, inflict bleed. Okay, so yeah. Two rounds. Okay, let's see what we've got going on. Okay. Might be a bit early. Okay. Ooh, I don't like the fact it's already neutral. That's not particularly great. That's not a good start. It's not what we want to see. This isn't a great start, but we shall find out. This is why I've still bought my tanky carry units. Dante, Dante always ignores Otis's boot licking. But the concerning thing, though, is that... Oh, no! Merzel's still kicking ass. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. Love that for us. Okay, so yield my flesh. So I don't want to do that one yet. Do I? No, I want to build more. I'm going to keep building more. Also, it's unopposed, so there's no point doing it. Yeah, let's build more poise. I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do. So acupuncture. I didn't actually read what her skills were. Good job, G. Okay, at five poise, at seven poise. Oh, well, you're on four. Okay, so that one, because then I'll gain more. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, that'll be fun. Don't forget three res prize. Three res pride for Mersault's passive. Is that... Do I just... Do I just need to just get the... I think... Yeah. I should be okay for that, I think. Yeah, I think we're okay for that. Oh, yeah. I mean, everyone's getting... Po yeah, we're good. <laughs> everyone's just popping poise out. We're, we're good. I don't think I've actually used poise before. So this is going to be interesting. First time for everything. Yeah, we're literally not... Okay. Yeah, we're not clashing anyone. <laughs> so I might as well just build for second round. Three pride use. You're going to find that yield will stick to your hand if you want to wait for a chance to claim. I see. Okay. I mean, everyone's currently staggered, so I think we're currently good. In order of placement. Turn this game into an action movie. Oh, he looks so cool, though. I love it. Is this our first Mersault sword ID? Nice. Okay, now I can put... Right, now we're going to pull out some of the big guns. And... Not... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But we're going to use that one. I oh, see, that's favoured. I kind of want to see what it looks like anyway, though. I mean, we're, yeah, we'll, we'll use it anyway. Ooh, you're struggling. Fun. Fun times. Okay. I want to see what it looks like. Obviously, we're not going to lose, but... The music is fucking insane. Damn, he is doing some damage over there. God damn. Oh my god, Faust. Oh, they are doing some damage. God, I love the music though. Think of it. Hey, Dawn, how's it going? No bones. Do it anyway. Yeah, I wanted to see what it was. Yeah, well, it's fine. We're only in, like, the little beginning fights. I'm not particularly concerned. That Faust, though. Holy crap. That Faust is, like, good. Like, that was, like, she was doing insane amounts of damage. That was crazy. I only managed to pull Kim Soul S3 in boss fights, sadly. That could work. That could work really well, actually. Yeah, the Yi Sang. I would like to try that at some point. W Mersault use Daxes? I've not seen that. Ooh. I haven't seen that, you know. I would actually love to see the IDs that I don't have and like what skills they have. Because I think there's a lot I haven't seen. Oh, one of my favorite IDs as well. So good. Oh my God. He was on 22 poise. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, when everything was, was critting. Shitting out. It would be better if he had six blade lineage. Uh, it would, but I currently have no blade lineage apart from two, and it's Otis. <laughs> and then my Myrtle. So I wanted to see whether or not it was worth it. I can kind of see why it might be. S-A-D. I'll bark no bite. Truly a disappointment. While the rest of the sinners were slowly recovering from the excitement of battle, Don Quixote did not waste a second before bolting forth to the woman's side. He is cracked. Yeah, he's cracked like an egg. Insane. I play Poison Mirror Dungeon. Holy shit, it's fun. It's going to be great. Mersault is the star of those identities. Yeah. yeah. Is this Poise Focus buff? Oh, that's cool. That's good. It's weak to slash. You're kind of having a biased advertisement. Fair. Fair. Sad? Good question. It's a good question. Yeah, already maxed out. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Dawn is the 500. Yes, I will make sure to get the Dawn. So at least I'll have a Dawn, I guess. But yeah, I don't... I don't... I, don't, I haven't heard that she's super great. Can anyone translate the SAD? Probably guess. Oh, damn. Hark, art thou? I must check thy pulse. 
Ooh, you can check her pulse through her forehead? I didn't know that was possible. Hmm, the lady lives. Ah, so this lass is the intel we need. The sinners one by one began to gather around the woman. She was dressed in all black garb, like the Kurokomo clan members, but her weapon and her outfit were mistakenly distinct. Blade lineage, huh? Looking around at the defeated Kurokumo clan members, then back at her, the difference became even more apparent. Don Quixote slowly sh and tragically shook her head after checking the pulse on the others. Executive manager, I have questioned many Kurokumo clan members during the battle, but no notable intelligence has been gained. So it's just her then. I hope my gut feeling proves me right. The lady doth appear to be sole survivor. We must move her to the bus and administer first aid post haste. What dost thou say to that? Yeah. Don't see any other way. Oh, Love Don. We don't carry a first aid kit with us and I can't turn the clock to heal her, so... Mersol, do you mind carrying her back to the bus? Oh my god, Mersol, carry me! <laughs> so jealous right now. Mersol, why can't you carry me to the bus? <laughs> I do not. Thus we made our way back to the bus, Mersol carrying the dying line Blade Lineage member. Not dying if I have anything to say about it. I'll sort, I'll sort her out. I'll save a life. It'll be great. Don's biggest issue is she pretty much wants to be pure poise team because otherwise she gives poise, poise to non-poise IDs. Oh, which isn't super useful. Fair. Um, Mirror Dungeon is hard focus on slash and poise and also don't bring sync ID to MD this week. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. I don't know if I need, I don't think I need to do it again this week. I've, I have done it. I think I'm okay. I see that you've hauled in another baggage. But Jill doesn't seem very happy about this. Manager, since when did bringing in unauthorized, unverified guests onto our bus become such an acceptable practice? We had no choice. We have to save her first. We're going to get any answers out of her. Dante, Dante explains that this individual will be of no use to us deceased. If she carries the intel we need, then we must first ensure that she survives. And that, Faust agrees with Dante's decision. Hmm. <sighs> What's done is done. However, do be mindful of bringing in strangers onto this bus from now on, Dante. I had a feeling that Vigilus had much more to say than that, but he simply sighed and dropped the subject. Well? I believe the manager of Squire hath made a decision most just. Hmm, thanks. Just as I was starting to dread that this bus was doomed to eternally uncomfortable, Yi Sang emerged from the back door with good news. I have done what I can, now. And before he even finished his sentence... Hmm. The woman was awake. Oh. Who is she? Yeah, dude, let's go. Okay, next up. We're still going. <laughs> we brought the wounded woman aboard the bus. Vigilis was not happy about it, but I was pretty confident in my decision. We will see this through to the end, and it looks like she's waking up. Okay, so I need to change. Uh... Oh, okay, yeah. So if I have you on my team. Ooh, yes, of course. My gra. Oh, wait. Oh. Should have built my Gregor. All right. I don't think you've got anyone. No, I'll just check if any of these guys have got anything I can put on. Don't think so. No. Okay. All right. That's good though. At least I'll get extra from these these two. <laughs> my beautiful Gregor. Love him. Love him. Um. The be yeah. 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 I mean, I'm not gonna swap out hers because I want to use her <laughs> right now. But yeah. And then I'll bring the Faust again because our Faust is actually really. I might actually have to get this Faust. I'm not gonna lie. She's actually really good. <laughs> I am very much enjoying using her. Grunt cockroach. Oh, I should have leveled up my Greg. Yeah. It's fine. I could have tried to use use him, but oh well. Support Faust. Got it. Got it. Got it. The only one that I have is Otis. Yeah, but but the other ones count though. Those other ones counted. Oh, I'll try Yi Sang next time. Where? T. Oh, the bus. I can translate this one for you. Welcome to the bus. Oh, and we are. And Otachi? Huh. What's that? What does that mean? The blade lineage woman sprang from her prone position, grabbing the sword next to her. She held the grip of her blade, ready to draw it at any moment. Identify yourselves. Are you with the Kurakumo clan? What? 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 I, I might need someone to explain that to me. No. Uh, so we're... Then why does that woman wield an Odachi? Oh, is it Ryoshi's blade? She will not listen. We should kill her. 
Oh, I see. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Wait. Holy crap. That's fascinating. Okay, love that. Love that. Is that, I'm guessing then there's a specific, is there a specific group that, oh, that's interesting. Real shoe. She pisses me off for two reasons. One, she refused to listen, making this conversation longer than it needed to be. Two, she dared to compare their scrap metals to my blade. Is there any reason for me not to proceed with her OF, OOF clock? Yeah, there is. She can't tell us anything if she's dead. <laughs> Rich is really protective of the sword here. The sword is related to dead daughter theory. Yeah, maybe. We don't see. We haven't seen a lot of Ryoshu in her story. So, like, that's intriguing. That's cool. Ryoshu often shows bursts of emotion at the most unexpected times, but at least she listens when I ask her to, which is a relief. I suppose your blade is not exactly like theirs. Your uniform is certainly different. And you... Who might you be? You certainly wear a rather loud timepiece. Are you unable to communicate otherwise? They are a manager. Their vocalizations will not reach your ears. Hmm. I recognize the scent your voice carries. It's familiar. Even in the districts that I have resided in, I have not met fellows who speak as I do. Speak as you do indeed. Yet I sense familiarity in your choice of the verbe ver ver verbiage? Verbage? Verbage, I think it is. We actually have lines of dialogue. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Really protective of her sword, yeah. Yeah, she never put... I know! I'm, I'm so fascinated. You must be from District 19, S-Corp, are you? Though I have fled, that is where I hail from. I see, so you've also left your home behind. My compatriots off share the same fate as we do. Perhaps meeting someone from the same home district helped the woman visibly relax before slum slumping down on a nearby chair. Her breathing was laboured. My name is Yi Sang. I have operated on the wounds you have suffered. Ah, so I have acted with such brutishness despite your kindness. Please accept my apologies. Call me Eng Du. Eng Du? Eng, is, it, is that what it is? Eng Du? Please correct my pronunciation, please. I am a Salsu from the lineage that deals in blades. Ooh, Dante, maybe we can leave the talking to Yi Sang this time. Mm, looks like we can sit back and let him handle this. I nodded, replying quickly to Rodia's whispers. If you are from District 19, Escorp territory, then you must be aware of who we are. I am somewhat aware, though I am far from acquainted with the tales from the streets. I have heard that the Blade lineage is bound to no master, no land, yet whence do you flee? It is a tale far too long to be shared in full. All I may divulge is that we had no choice but to seek a territory for us to thrive in. Perhaps there is aught that we could do to assist, should you deign to impart us on the particulars of your pursuers. Uh, and do? Okay. I think she's from the cut Rune, Runa Blade lineage storyline. Oh, there was like a cut story. A and do, I think is how you pronounce it. Ah, and do. It might be that, ah, and do. Shot a sweeping glance of all of us, her eyes appeared heavy with crushing exhaustion. Hmm. If you and your fellows were skilled enough to defeat this group of foes, then you all must be quite capable. Kurakoma clan has put a bounty on our heads. Our mentor, my fellow, is all of us. Hold on, this ain't just any other strife, then. This sounds more personal than your usual turf war. As it has always been, District 19 is fraught with corruption and disturbances to the lives of the public. There is very little that us men and women of the Blade, who seek naught else but to train and walk the path of martial arts, can do to change the wing, now known as Salpipio Agro... In Ag yeah? Agro Industries, I think? Or S-Corp. No, you pronounced it right the first time. Engdu. Okay, I'll just go with that. Is a cut character more you can... Oh, that's so interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. My next Library of Runa then stream then, I'll have to ask. Because there's someone that's got, like, the book that, like, always gives us knowledge. So I'll have to ask if there's anything written about this character. Cool, cool, cool. Interesting. Ah, so that's why there was only... Ah, oh, that's so interesting. Okay, cool. As the old saying goes, what other choice does a monk who abhors his temple have but to leave it behind? Thus we've departed from our home. So the people of S-Corp suffer still. We had departed in search of a new home, yet it was no easy journey. Most territories have been made home by others in order for us to settle. Conflict was unavoidable. 
In the midst of those conflicts, I have memory of our mentor bringing us an invitation. Oh! <laughs> an invitation to enter a library of sorts. Oh my god, there's such benefits to library of Fuda. That's so cool! Oh my god, that's fucking awesome! Dudes. Dudes, I'm so happy right now. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's so cool. <laughs> Why did it go to Vigilis? Why did it go to Vigilis? What does he know? What does he know about the library? Oh my god, I need to know. He knows. He knows. He knows. Vigilis, who had been sitting quietly with one leg over the other from the chair, far of us, visibly reacted. He knows. Oh my god, yeah, you just fall. How does that make you feel? I feel fucking great. <laughs> I feel excited for lore. My little lore heart is like screaming right now. I think I remember that the word library always got a genuine reaction out of Vigilis. I need to know. Read Leviathan. I can't. I can't read it yet. I've got to finish Ruiner. You have the memory, but in our way to phrase your own recollect recollections. Yeah, finish library first. I, I will. I will. Mm. We arrived at the library hoping to escape the Kurokumo clan's clutches. But all we had done was lead ourselves into just another field of battle. We were handily defeated. Yeah, you were. By me. <laughs> Last stream. <laughs> then all of a sudden we found ourselves stranded in the back streets of T Corp upon our waking. The bizarreness of such an experience can only be described by an expression just as odd. Ah, Mentor Bamboo had a Kim. She just fucking rocked up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Her eyes suddenly widened mid-sentence. Engju le leaped from her seat. I believe that our mentor remain- Oh, sorry. Never mind, he's still there. Okay, sorry. I thought he'd like rocked up to the bus. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I believe that our mentor remains there still. We must make haste to Yongjin building. Be not so hasty. Such wild movements may tear the wounds that I have. Huh? What the heck? Is she dead? It is no surprise that a sudden rise in blood pressure in lieu of blood supply would cause one to faint. She's merely lost her consciousness. Kim Bosi, Georgie Men, Georgie Bosi, as she be up this poor girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Finish Library Runa and then read Leviathan. I'm sure you love it. We're making our way. You know, we're, I'm in no rush. Yeah. You were right, manager. She did a. I don't know why I went Irish. What? You were right, manager. She did have some useful intel for us. Yongjin Building. I suppose we have some business there then. Hmm. Maybe, but I'm not sure. I don't know what we to do. What this has to do with our mission, if any. Or maybe it's the, the library that we should. Danger, danger. Bunch of people in Methy's way. Swinging swords around, black clothes. Passengers, move out, protect Methy. I'm pretty sure Methy could just open their mouth and eat them. <laughs> and it would be fine. Also, there's two Karens right now, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Irish Mel, please stream Leviathan, I beg. I don't see why not, we could, we could do that. Ishmael is Irish. Oh yes, we're going with the slight Irish accent now. Irish is the uh, Irish is really the only other one I can do, and even then, it's not that good. Can't do Scottish. I need to practice my Scottish accent. But I'm not too bad at Irish. Not too bad. But I'm not trying to make Ishmael, Ishmael Irish. Although that would have been quite interesting. That would have been quite nice if one of the characters was Irish. I don't have the nice Irish accent though. Hmm. Executive manager. They appear to be Kurokumo clan reinforcements. Well, what can we do? We'll have to think about this later. But now, let's take care of the reinforcements. I didn't notice that, G. <laughs> Sharon can occupy all space on the bus. She can do whatever she wants. Okay. I was about to say, I think, the, I think my audio is slightly off. Yeah, the voice is really low. I thought the voice was super low. There you go, that's better. I was like, I want to hear all the, all the voices I've got. Right. Freaking love it. Nice. One thing.
things I like about this side of Kanto is how it highlights Dante becoming a better leader, even if slightly. Oh, yeah, I think Dante has, like, definitely grown a lot since the beginning, which you can really see in his character, and it's, it's so great. Oh, that's dominating. Okay, we'll use the other one. Did you get Myrtle? I did, but I did have to shard them because they did not come home. And I didn't want to use all my pulls, you know? Did you get them? Music is absolutely a banger, I agree. I'm currently using him now, and he is so good <laughs> already, and I'm not even using him properly. God, this this music might be one of my favorite songs they've done. It's so fucking dope. I love it <laughs> so fucking much already. I'm like, <laughs> I love it. So atmospheric, it's amazing. Nice. Round one down. Mm. Can use that, yep. Dimple used all the boxes. Yep, fair, fair, fair. Pearson, I got this Kanto. We ball, but ignore the resistance. Listen, if you're strong enough, resistance doesn't matter, you know? Yeah, we might have to get this Faust. <laughs> we might have to get this Faust, guys. <laughs> this Faust I'm really liking. With this muscle, so I may have to shard this Faust. Ow! <laughs> Being too strong to lose is very ruin racket. I love that though. I love I love how I'm gonna be carried by Kim in both games. <laughs> uh. What you want? Two? Oh, you got two of these and he's got no clashes? Damn. Shame. What are you on? 15. Yeah, you need that. Okay. Kim Salt makes every BL ID goated. Yeah. I mean, I love Rhino Mersault, but the vibes that Kim Salt is giving me is just so glorious. I love it. Oh. Have you even read her skills yet? No. I was just like, oh, I'll just borrow her and see. And then I'm just like, holy shit, I haven't even read her skills and I'm already like, <laughs> I'm already like, holy crap. Yeah, I'll have to practice. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll have to do some practicing. That's usually what I do with like the mirror dungeons and stuff. Right, I'm going to try to borrow uh, the Yi Sang this time. So we need BL Yi Sang. There we go. I'm going to try borrowing the Yi Sang. Apparently the Yi Sang is goated AF. I will not use Faust and I will bring... Bring Ish. Want it. I don't know how... Yeah, I don't know how... Mm, okay. I don't know how that's going to do, although that doesn't seem good. Maybe I'll bring Ryoshu. If Slash is good in this, Ryoshu is probably the better bet. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. I'm farming with full BL team. It seems like a lot of people have done a full BL team, if I'm being honest. Oh, we're strange to win another fight. Okay. Oh. Well, let's hope this goes well. <laughs> bring Captain Ish. Oh, yeah, I, did. I didn't even get to try Captain Ish. Big Lasage time, huh? Okay. Okay, this fight could be just a little bit rougher, but we'll see. So gain two poise, gain three poise next turn, clash win. Oh, you're not clashing. Yeah, it's just she's out. My ever reliable. I actually, there was, I was doing a boss fight the other day and Sinclair like nearly lost that. It was insane. I genuinely thought he was gonna lose. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Nice. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I thought he literally could not lose, but hey ho. Okay, not ideal, but we'll get more. Might as well get more poise going. 
So gain two poise. Turn. Yeah, let's do that one. Gain four. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's do that. And um, I'm using. She doesn't have a Ahab mod. I don't. I don't have Captain Ish. I am glad I didn't do loads of pulls though. I think that was the right decision to make. I mean, Reindeer Ish is actually really good. She really grew on me. No, So is this Chef Ryoshu. I was worried I'd made the wrong decision. Uh, I haven't. She she's grown on me a lot. But sometimes you just have to practice a bit with them. Oh, oh. So nice seeing Malkus. Yeah, Bullish. Were there any bones claimed? I only wanted two. What do you think is the best outfit in a project in the Project Moon games? Out of all of them? That's a really tough question. Um, oh man, that's a really tough question. I will say... Oh, I don't know. There's been a few. There's been a few dope outfits. My brain's immediately going to... Um, so... The Lobcorp Gabora Distortion was so dope like i would love to see that in like this art style oh my god it was amazing so it looked so fucking cool just i loved it it was like oh my god so sick like the mask and oh loved it um a few of angela's have been like insane i was like i genuinely want that <laughs> like as an outfit i want to like see characters in limbus wearing this um and then oh man that's really tough that's really tough. Hmm. Do you think Bamboo Hat Mersol Power Creep? See, uh, I would. I don't know. I would probably say no. Kim Salt. Kim. I mean, Kim Salt looks amazing. I will say, so fucking dope. But yeah, it's a little bit. It's a bit tough because there's been like, and then like even just some of like the villain characters in. Library of Ruiner have been amazing. Farm Watch is obviously peak. Oh man, who would yeah, who would you guys say is like your favorites? It's tough because there's been some amazing ones. It's really hard to compare. Really hard to compare, if I'm being honest. Uh yeah, I don't know who Hannah Fooder is. No, I don't think I know who they are. <laughs> I did see them. I'd have to look again. I don't remember. If I did, I... Yeah, they, they clearly did not stick in my brain. I'll have to look again. BGM slaps. This is one of my favorite fight songs they've ever done. It's fucking amazing. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I am having a wonderful time right now. <laughs> I am very much enjoying my time playing this right now. It's dope. You're gonna dodge. Distorted, yes, odds. I mean, any. I just want anyone to distort. It's just such a freaking cool concept. It's a general invitation. Okay. I'd have to have a look. But yeah, this this game does have some serious drip though, and so does um Lob Corp and Ruiner. Some serious drip. Like, the designs are fucking awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing the other the other areas and how they're gonna like for example, like I'm imagining maybe we might get characters with like armor and stuff for like Dons, maybe. And I'm looking forward to seeing like what we I just, I just want to see like what we're gonna get in the other areas. It's gonna be sick. What are you walking around a nest in Olympus? I see. <laughs> General invitation. Okay. We return to the bus after dispatching the Kurokumo clan members that attacked the bus. 
Where did you come from? What? Only to be greeted by an unfamiliar face. There's a woman sitting in the frontmost seat of our bus. Interesting, guide. I believe that we've made it quite clear that no guests are to board the bus without prior consultation. That discussion was not even an hour ago, in fact. Yes, we did. No outsiders, to be exact. Isn't it clear as day to who she is? I noticed that she was wearing a dark blue uniform with the logo clear emblazoned on her chest. Are you from the LCCB? Rose, I wonder how hot it is. Probably quite warm. LCCA, the after team manager clock. I mean, I see Limbus Company on their arm, yeah, so. Look who it is. Right, I could see that she was wearing a red emblem on her shoulder. Huh? Wait, can she hear what you're saying? No, don't have any talent in TikTok, TikTok interpretation either. It was pretty easy to tell with the blank, stupid look they were giving me. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay. Don't you even have the common decency to mince your... Ishmael scowled about to the woman off until she coughed and collected herself. Maybe she suddenly recalled her old attitude. I am team leader Cayman. Limbus Company clearance after team. Normal operations unit 2. Cayman? Is Cayman the name of a demon? Can I just ask? Can someone, can someone check that? I'm sure Cayman is the name of a demon. Right? Here comes Gordon Ramsay. It's raw! It's fucking raw! Hey, baby! How's it going? How was the rest of your stream? Did you have a good time? The Limbus Karen. <laughs> we could go with the Karen voice. <laughs> Yi Sang confirmed Cal. Oh, wait, was he? Oh. No, it's like the reptile. It's like an alligator. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought... They're not something like that. That I've read before. Maybe a... Oh, it might be Paimon. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Like a lizard. Maybe I'm thinking of Paimon. Maybe. I'll have to have a look and see what I was thinking of. Because, yeah, it must be something else. I probably am thinking of Paimon. It's the long-nosed crocodile in India. See, I don't like crocodiles. So... Hopefully I don't... Hopefully I like this character. Because I'm not a big fan of crocodiles. Quite scared of them, actually. I don't think I've ever seen anyone from the after team in person. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Though all them blokes do is sweeping up to pick up the spores after we've done all the hard work. Let me set something straight, Backstreet Mutt. Holy shit, she does not mince her words. You might, you might be thinking of the MC from Dorahedra. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I've not seen it. I have been asked to look at the in, uh, the intros though, but it does look quite good. Apparently it's what inspired Chainsaw Man. Paimon is a demon. And maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Rocks are so cute and cool. I can't agree. I'm sorry. I can't agree. Not even Gavel. Well, Gavel's a lot less likely to eat me, you know? So, what? The after team is charged with cleaning up the mess you ungrateful wastes of lives leave behind. Sweeping it, up, sweeping it to pick up the spoils? No. We do the very difficult work of sweeping your stinking shit under the rug. Holy shit. Wastes of lives? Is that how you guys see us? Oh, that's not all. Waste of lives, bumper cars, the most expensive bus in the world, meat shields, maniacs with more luck than they deserve, and then some. Doesn't seem like the most relevant conversation topic for now, though. I really like Doro Hidoro. It looks good. It looks good. I do want to do a video looking at the intros for that to try and guess what it's really about, because I don't actually know. But, like, I've seen, like, pictures, and, like, it looks fucking cool. But, yeah, because I watched Chainsaw Man, and someone was like, oh, if you like Chainsaw Man, you'll really like this show. And I was like, oh, I'll have to have a look sometime. You little. You better change your tone now. If you give me one reason to, then I will. Unfortunately, it's my personal philosophy to be stubbornly set in my ways, unless I'm giving a good reason to change. Sure, it's your job to collect the golden bows no matter what, but I'm having a lot of trouble scrounging up even an ounce of respect for a group of half-wit idiots who don't give a damn about people who have to clean up after them. That's enough, Team Leader Kaiman. Hmm, very well. I wasn't sent here to reprimand them. I'm here to relay the orders from head office. Kaiman produced an envelope, opened it, and pulled out a paper from within. She began to read it out loud. LCB, additional mission assignment prior to T-Corp. Golden Bow retrieval operation. One, eliminate and or secure the distortion in the area. Two, recover the monolith, an artifact in the shape of a black stel... Stel? Stella? From the same site. A monolith? What is this now? Distortion? Are you saying they've already distorted? I don't know. 
Limbus, Limbus Company clearance is not part of this extra operation. I was merely ordered to relay this information to you as I happened to take care of some other job at T-Corp. I believe that our one and only mission was to recover the golden bows. Since when did it become our job to play errand boy fixers? Since now. Besides, I don't see what the difference is between an average errand boy and your team. All you ever do is picking up and delivering the golden bows, no? Right. I guess the after team is full of grouches like you, huh? Rodian grumbled like she was imagining a department full of Carmen. Ky <laughs> Carmen quickly took a sweeping look at the complaining sinners and then approached me. Manager clock. Yes, oh my god, she's literally talking to the manager. Can't hear what you're saying anyway, so just listen. Allow me to kindly explain some things for you and your minions, since you, all of you appear to be so out of the loop. Kaiman crossed her arms and leaned against the bus seat as though she was about to start a lecture. LCB's primarily, 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 what am I saying? Primary objective is to retrieve the golden bows, yes. Can't deny that. But parading around telling everyone that Limbus Company specializes in retrieving the golden bows would be stupid, don't you agree? And it's not exactly the most lucrative business, if at all. I suppose so. I've been wondering about the company's finances for a while. Where do we even get our funding from? Well, there is no need for you to concern yourself with the, company, with the company's finances. We have much more than enough capital to do what we want. What the company really lacks, however, is public standing and a cause. A cause? Limbus Company decided to find our cores in distortions. No significant organization has yet to take charge of managing instances of a distortion phenomenon. Faust told me some time ago that it hasn't been long since the distortions began appearing in the city. Limbus Company is building our reputation as a professional distortion prevention and control company that doubles as a research center for the distortion phenomena, which means that we need to produce real results. In more ways than one, that is. I did hear that this ep an epidemic of a distortion phenomena can be pretty annoying to deal with. No one has properly defined what these distortions truly are. This means that there are not many willing to jump into dealing with this new phenomenon blind. We did hear that some are preparing to launch an association primarily dealing with distortions, but that is it. An association. We intend to deal with it on a corporate level. Right, but how's that any of our business? What reason do we have to go of our way to tussle with those distortions? Here's how it's your business. The order came all the way from the top. The highest authority of our company. Don't they teach you how to follow orders in the slums? <laughs> that does it. You're not leaving this bus alive. Manager. Came and ignored Heathcliff, who was visibly fuming, and turned to face me. My attitude towards your minions and the company's attitude towards them. It all depends on the choices you make and your leadership. With that, she produced an envelope from under her arm and handed it over. At the end of the day, though, the choice is yours. Your men aren't completely wrong if you would like to focus solely on your primary mission. The Golden Bows? Then fine. It's not like the company is going to kick you and your meat shields out. But do understand that the company's treatment of the sinners may change depending on what you decide to do here. Vigilus listens quietly, his eyes shut. Now then, Red Gaze, I'll be taking my leave now. Until next time. Fine, but next time I'd prefer it if you would watch your language. These meat shields are still under my guidance, so try not to disturb me as well. Hmm. Well, that depends on what the manager does, doesn't it? Excuse me. Kaiman doesn't give a shit. She's not even scared of the of a fucking color fixer. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! She left leaving nothing but awkward silence behind. Is she gone? Bloody prick. After that, after a brief moment of quiet, everyone began sighing and complaining as they had just been ungagged. I must burst a blood vessel listening to all that. Uh, I thought I'd suffered my temper with age. Still, good work keeping things non-violent, guys. Hmm. I don't think she said anything wrong, though. I found her manner of speech quite convenient. There was no need to unnecessarily read between the lines. I had little trouble understanding her and organizing my thoughts accordingly. Huh, I guess that's one way of looking at things. Anyway, she's right that we don't really have much say in the matter. If the company asks us to do our jobs, we do our jobs. She knows he's a red th fraud. <laughs> she sees him for the fraud that he is. No, stop. I don't have anything to add myself. I have no issues with following orders. Yeah, I agree with you guys. I tried my best to cheer up the sinners as I opened the envelope she left behind. Not much to note. It was in there. One old fashioned walkie talkie, a bunch of sign and stamp paperwork and, huh? Mission location, Yongjing building. Let's go, Karen. Young Jin. Right, Verge? 
got it. I'm feeling it. Buzz, buzz. Here we go. Vroom, vroom. Judging by their lack of surprise, both Karen and Virgilis already knew where to go. And the bus took off. Fraud recognizes fraud. Game work retail 100%. Oh, yeah. It's true. Nothing faces you. What I'm wondering, though, is... I'm curious about... Um, I am very curious about um who's the head of limbus company orders came from the higher ups of limbus company that we're to retrieve a distortion related artifact from this young Jin building i'm not sure how this is related into retrieving the golden bows but i'm starting to feel that none of us really have much to say in the matter anyway it seemed to me that vigilis already knew where we were headed what was the point in not telling us and letting us go through a roundabout route are we forgetting something i don't know are we am i Um, who should I bring this time? I kind of want to... I might bring the Faust again. Because I, I think I'm definitely going to get this Faust. I think I'm pretty convinced at this point. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think I've been convinced. <laughs> this Faust is fucking good. Vigilis right. is better than Paimon. Faust? Love? Probably trying to become the new El Corp spot. Mm. I'm so excited to get Angela. I can't wait. I can't wait to get the Angela. Ooh, interesting. Hey, Elwig is open. What a coincidence. Yeah, what a cheeky little coincidence. This is someone that's been theorized to be the leader, but speaking of them here might be spoilers. Okay. Oh, interesting though. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're on now. Okay. Ooh, 10 bleed? Shit. Okay. You could definitely use the poise. Might as well give you some poise. <laughs> I do believe Limbus is trying to replace Elcorp. I mean... I mean, if there's a space, it would probably make sense. It does feel like they're trying to establish themselves, right? Because I guess we don't really know much about Limbus Company as a company. So that is fascinating that there's clearly... Like, we're working for this corporation, but we don't really know anything. So, yeah. Definitely going to be having to find out more. What do you want? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a spoiler for this canto. Okay. There's theory about who limits his head is, but it's going to contain spoilers. It's for the law law. So we're going to see it. Oh, okay. Got it. <sighs> holy shit. What if it's like a big bad from, Lim from Library of Runa? <laughs> it would just be like, holy shit. I mean, obviously, I haven't finished Library of Runa yet. It better not be fucking Oswald. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's Oswald, I'm quitting. I will not work for that bitch. <laughs> I refuse. Freaking Oswald. <laughs> Alcott is adorable. With Kim Slot, you want to try and choose at least three prize skills per turn if you can. It makes him stronger. Okay. Oh, I mean, I picked four there. Okay. Oh, so then he just used more pride. Okay. Alcott is a bit of a mess. Naming them, because we're all the spoilers. Okay, yeah. Wants to be a distortion specialist, which is interesting. I'm surprised there hasn't been anyone that's come forward before, but then I guess I don't think this is actually set that long after Ruiner. But I don't know exactly. You got it right, it's the clown. No! No! God, I fucking love this music. It's just so sick. Yeah, it's generating some good poise, though. How many bullets have you got? Three, nice. Yeah, that's good. Wait. Oh, no, you got loads. Let's use that. Yeah. <laughs> Kim Salt's passive. <laughs> I mean, we might be clowns. 
Worst oh, PM player I know. So rude. So rude. Hey, listen, right? Am I winning the fights? Yes. Then I'm doing it my own way. Oh my god, that is. I mean, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Right at the end of the thing. So yeah. Look, I enjoy playing the game for fun. Okay, I don't need to be the best PM player. But I'm still winning the fights. So. <laughs> so I'm not actually that bad, because otherwise. Yeah, but you also read. Yeah, but when I'm using. Yeah, but. I still win the fights, so. <laughs> At the end of the day, if I was losing the fights and reading it, and. Oh shit, I didn't change. Oops. Oh yeah. Who does that? I know. I know. I know. I do. I do. But hey, look, if I'm still winning the fights, I'm not that bad. So if you don't like it, go and watch someone more professional. <laughs> There's plenty of professional PM players, okay? I'm here for the law, baby. I'm not here to be good at the game. I'm here for the law. <laughs> Same outcome, right? Yeah, see? Hey, you beat Queen of Hatred, good. Thank you. Thank you. We barely beat Queen of Hatred, but we did. Something continued to nag at the back of my mind during the frequent stops and combat encounters. There was one thing I just could not understand. The joke is PM players don't read. I know. And then I read, but I'm still not the best PM player. I know. I know. You beat Queen of Hatred the hard way. You're good. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I really did. I'll take it. I'll take it. The joke is overused. I think I think the thing is though is I think the like people joke that PM players don't read, but actually they do. <laughs> Cause they know how to use everything. So clearly y'all do read. <laughs> so yeah. So we're nonetheless, thank you. Yeah, see this is this is the attitude that I like. The like, yeah, just I'll play the game how you want. How you want. <laughs> Did you get to see the video I sent you? No, because I've literally been working non-stop since my last stream. <laughs> so I literally have not even checked any of my discord messages for being honest i really need to sit and watch some stuff i think i did yeah I, I need to like actually sit and like go through my discord messages properly something continued to nag at the back of my mind during the frequent stops and combat encounters there was just one thing i could not understand this is pretty much expected from vigilus at this point but if you already knew where we were going and why would it hurt to tell us for once yes it would that's just vigilus um they do read, but the brain rock curse makes them forget for an instance. There you go. That's what it is. They just do not to when presented with mechanics. I will say though, in defense of some of these players who do struggle with this game, the mechanics aren't the easiest to get to know. They, it can be quite a difficult game at times. And not everyone has the has like the type of brain. I think I've said this before. The type of brain where like they can just see information and put together it really quickly. Some people are more practical and have to like practice a couple of times. But like sometimes people just won't give them that chance and just proper leap on them and be like, you need a read, you need a read. And it's like, no, they have read. The problem is, is they haven't processed the information the same way that you do. And you need to be a bit more understanding that some people learn practically or by seeing stuff which is why like video tutorials are good and things like that so like people learn in different ways and i think that that is definitely something that i hope that if people are telling like streamers and stuff oh like you need to read you need to read that like they are taking it as a joke and that it's not like they're actually getting upset because like they are reading but they're not necessarily understanding so i think that there does need to be a little bit of understanding that like people don't always learn in the same way and process information in the same way they are bad at teaching yeah the game was pretty easy to me with 100 hours of runa. yeah but yeah but yeah but i'll just i'll just throw it in there you know i just want to throw it in there but yeah you've also got to remember i've only had two hours sleep so yeah <laughs> i just feel it's important to make this point clear that that is my viewpoint on but yeah because i do feel quite strongly about this because I have had issues. I, don't, I Obviously, I know this was a joke, but I have had issues in the past where people have proper come for me in this, about this game and about my strategies. And I'm just like, we're not gonna keep doing that. Because 
I love this game and I'm not gonna let my experience be ruined, you know? Um, anyways, let's continue. If you're a new, yeah, why would Vigilance not tell us? Little shit, as always. True of all PM games, though, choose when you sit down and start the game. Once you finally start, it's fairly intuitive. Yeah, but you just have to, like, learn, you know? I find it complex to learn and have Runa at first, years later when Limbus came around. Yeah, it's... Runa is a tough game, too. They like producing tough games. Right, anyways, let's continue. I muttered to myself while towards the back of the bus where Engdu slept. She was still out cold. Oh, bless her. <laughs> Oh, come on, Faust. I legitimately think this is something we have to talk about. Can you please relay my question to Vigilus? Hmm. Uh, if you won't do it, then I will. A journey can can always be sunshine and rainbows. Some friction is necessary. You there, guide. Otis relayed my question, then began sharing some of her own grievances with <laughs> Vigilus. Oh, no. Two hours sleep. You good, G? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm fine. Hmm. a lot of her own grievances <laughs> i do love that it's great <sighs> you finished well you're not wrong i did hear most of the details through the radio and here's why i didn't tell you in advance it's because you're the kind of people who never learn until the problem crashes through your front door would you have done anything differently if you knew in advance it'll only serve to give you an excuse to whine about it <laughs> i just love i always just bitchy armadillas so there it is. What now, manager? Will you refuse this mission? How could I? They're already treating us like dirt. If I refuse this, I can't imagine how much more worse it'll get. I'm sure you're thinking, how could I? And you'd be right. He's so... I, I, I genuinely believe he can hear us. <laughs> I, I am convinced that Vigilus can hear everything we're saying. I can tell from the way he's looking at me that he already knew what I was going to say. I'm starting to wonder if he really can't hear me. Ah, oh, our guest is awake. You should go and ask her for directions, manager. Charon's intuition can only take us so far. Again, this would have gone much smoother if we'd been told where we were going from the start. But like always, we just felt the need to add comments like that before shooting me down and turning me away. He's already closed his eyes. Uh, <clears throat> Allow me to explic explicate? Is that how you say it? I've got no idea. <laughs> um, our present circumstances to her. Are you sad about Project Moon games that haven't quite reached mainstream media considering how good the game is? Yes and no. And I do have a reason for that. Yes, I'm sad because I would love the game to be more popular and to see more people play it and see like the, the fan base grow. And I would love to see that, of course. And obviously the more money that PM gets with them means that they could do new games and new experiences and more, you know, voice acting and build a bigger company. But from my experience with other gacha for example just an example is like genshin honkai star rail things like that um the bigger a community the more drama that can occur in that community and it can become quite a toxic environment i'm not saying that they're necessarily toxic all the time but there are areas of them that are a little bit scary to be in and i wouldn't want that to happen with limbus company we've already had like bits i just wouldn't want to see that happen to this game if it became more mainstream and i also think there are elements in this game that are missing from other gacha games and that's probably part of the reason why it's not quite as mainstream but i don't know if that's something that i want to go into on stream just because it's quite a um it, it'll open up a can of worms in regards to a topic of conversation and i'm considering making a video about it anyway but yeah but that's kind of why so i think that we want the game to be popular but do we want to get no i would say no personally so yeah um pm drama the, yeah like we already had some drama that did go, did go a bit big no, no you don't want to be a gatekeeping computer. absolutely not that is not what i'm saying but what i'm saying is that by the game for the game to become more mainstream i think there's things that have to add to the game that would go against what they've previously said they wouldn't add to the game and i wouldn't want to see that happen you know I, I want them to make the game that they want to make i don't want them to make a game because it's going to be popular i want them to make a game because of the lore and the designs that they want and the characters that like i want them to make the game for that reason i don't want them to be influenced by the fan base into making the game that like you know i want to see their vision i don't want to see 
Bob's vision over there. I want to see the game creator's vision, you know? So that's my concern, is I wouldn't want them to be influenced by the fan base too much. Except on cases where, like, there's genuinely something wrong, then yes, I think it's fair that, like, they should listen to feedback, but not be, like, so heavily influenced by the community. And that's the worry, is the game company is very small, and I think it's a bit scary when that does happen. So, yeah. <laughs> so that is, yeah. That, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but that's how, it's a very two-sided edge. I absolutely agree. So, yeah, how do you guys kind of feel? Yisan got up with an awkward smile and attempts to clear the air. Yeah, we've really, yeah, this is really taken to, I'll speed up a bit. Uh, after some time. Yi Sang seemed to have successfully explained our circumstances to Eng Du. She was standing next to Shara and tried to give proper directions. She had also told us as long as we assisted her with her mission, she wouldn't mind taking the Black Stella for ourselves. Ah, uh, turn to the right there. Ah, uh, they've already set up camp there. People dressed in Kurokomo clan guards were wandering around the building, standing guard before its entrance. Yeah, the lore is so important to this game. It's so important. I have to. Uh, mentor, mentor Babu had a kim. Delaying, f delaying further will only allow the distortion to grow more powerful. We must enter the building as soon as possible. Engdu had already leaped off out of the bus and was rushing with her weapon drawn. We quickly followed suit. Oh no. Oh yeah, I forgot to swap out my character, so we're gonna be, um... <laughs> So we're going to be having a bit of a rough turn, uh, but it'll be all right. We'll, uh, we'll cope. We'll cope. It'll be fine. Yeah, excuse me. The hell? You don't beat that skill. Some students in my college are probably... Oh, that's cool. I don't know any... Like, none of my friends play this game. Like, I don't know, like, anyone... <laughs> anyone that plays this outside of like all you guys like i don't know anyone that plays this oh oh these rolls are awful no damn dad rolls should have swapped okay. out my character faustless yeah that was my bad i got distracted First turn magic bullet. I know. I, that one keeps popping up first. Ain't great. But I needed to win the clashes because it was a bit rough on that first turn. I'll start building them up a little bit more now. <laughs> Claim his bones in return. I must. Ooh, no. You're not doing that. Some of these turns are a bit rough. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Right. Yeah, you're done. Really okay. Oh, wait. Okay, good luck. I mean, you have 50% chance of shooting yourself on the first turn magic bullet. Ah, that did happen. That actually did happen before. It was insane. She basically just turned around and shot. Who, she shot, who did she, she shot like Faust in the face or something. And I was like, you're joking. <laughs> CPM fan everywhere. I'm so jealous. It was a lot less successful than Runa or Limbus. I think they've shown over time to build game, games that like feel like PM or make the game more reminding. I try recommending PM. Sad to say no one took interest. Aww. I have a friend that plays Limbus just because I got him into Lobcorp. Oh, interesting. Okay. See, if I was going to recommend one, I'd probably actually recommend my friends start with, like, Ruiner, if I'm being honest. Because it's not a gacha. So I think that, like, a few of my friends don't like gacha games. Or, like, they just kind of, like, haven't played them before. So they're a bit, like, they don't know if they're going to like them or want to get invested. Whereas if you kind of start them with a the game that's sort of got, like, start to finish, they might get invested enough in the lore that then they'll try Limbus. So I would probably recommend my friend's Ruiner if they were going to play anything. It's such a good game. It's tough, though. Are you trying to make people that play PM games or just yap about it to them? I do the same. I'm like, I'm like, I love this character. 
I know, I nearly ended up re-downloading Honkai Star Rail because they've got a character that looks just like Greg. <laughs> I was like, these sons of bitches. Like, they've literally... Like, that's Greg. I was so annoyed. I was like, I can't believe they've done this. First game was Love Corp. What's the friendly fire threshold again? I don't know. I probably should learn it. Talking about me again, huh? To be fair, I don't know. I mean, you maybe would. Maybe. Maybe if I got a few, maybe. Would you? Would you try Library of Runa? Yeah, I know you don't like Gacha, but do you think you'd try Library of Runa because it's not a Gacha game? Yeah, I recommend Runa. Yeah, Runa's a good place to start, I think. Since El Corp is extremely multitask game. Yeah. Ugh, damn it. Looks like this was the last one of them. Ugh, the aroma of blood. Some splattered fresh, some old and growing vicious. I can already tell that there will be a collage of different blood splatters waiting for me in there. I am excited to see this collection for myself. Yeah, the name's like Gallagher or something, right? I think. This one expresses brutal thoughts with such nonchalance as one muses about their next meal. Um, whichever may be the case, this way is open. We must move with haste. Aang Du did not hesitate for a second before disappearing into the building's entrance. Man, I'm impressed by her energy. Wasn't she knocked out cold just a few minutes ago? It is sheer willpower that moves her. What other choice does she have when her superior is captured? Huh. From the name alone, I expected Yonjin building to be taller than just six floors. Building and all. It is a common name con naming convention in the back streets. I looked up towards the roof to the building Honglu was looking at and suddenly grew cur curious. Uh, what time is it right now? The new Honkai Star Rail guy looks like. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they looks a little bit like Gregor. <laughs> Near the mirror. My head doesn't actually tell time, you know. It is two ten. It was two ten in the afternoon. It's <laughs> no character Gregor from Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, two in the afternoon. It's not midday, but it's not supposed to be this dark, is it? How is it this gloomy and dark at two in the afternoon? I'm starting to lose my sense of time in here. Seems particularly dark around this area we're in. Well, compared to the smoke war days, it's still as bright as a sunny day. Hmm, I suppose that's true. The back streets of T Corp are known to be a perpetual state of murkiness. Their machines ceaselessly discharge heavy plumes of smoke which cloud the skies. That and the constant color drainage keeps the back streets of T Corp dark and dreary. Of course, I must inform you that the conditions have improved somewhat after the smoke war due to the various extenuating prohibitive conditions con introduced by the outcome of the war that limits the production of smoke before the war. We have no time for idle chatter. chatter. Come now. I don't hang out. I just don't think the person that I'm to target. No, that's fair. That is fair. But I think that like... Yeah. Oh uh, Yeah, I won't get into it. I won't get into it. Ugh, there was more blade lineage. Linny? Yeah. Linny? Ling? L wait, Lani? Is that spelt? Is that how you spell it? It just looks like it's spelt wrong. But to be fair, I don't know. I can't even say it. Bastards left. What the? The last took them all out already? They were nothing but mewling minions. Holy shit. She's gonna be strong. The size of their bravado ill matched their immature skills. They foolishly decided to stand their ground instead of retreating upstairs. An electric buzz of sorts from the radio I'd stash in my clothes. Is someone calling this radio? The sound... Lineage? Typage moment? Oh, okay, so... Right, okay. The sound became much clearer when I unfolded the antenna from the radio. LCD here. LCD, can you hear me? Acknowledge, come on. The voice coming from the other end was upbeat, but it mildly and very chaotic. Okay, I just have to press this button, right? Well, I'll talk, but it's not like you can hear. <laughs> they actually TikTok! Oh, right, I called you for a reason. I'm gonna relay a message, don't bother responding, yeah? Uh, okay. We don't have much time, so let me keep it short. Remember that black stellar you guys were trying to retrieve, the monolith? I'm picking up a super huge bump in the monolith signal in the area near you. That signal can force people to distort for your information. Force people to distort? We have to contain it before that seeping signal gets completely out of control, okay? Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, my bad. I've got some stuff going on here too, you know? Anyway, I gotta keep this short, so let me just emphasize the time is of the essence here. Over and out. The call dropped for Eve, any of us even have the chance to say anything. I wonder who that was. She's, uh, pretty lively, huh? We don't have time to sit around dumbfounded, Clockhead. Let's crack on. Um, everyone, I think the elevator's broken. I see that you and your fellows also have a reason to hurry. I say that we break through the lines and rise through the stairwell. What you say, you. We don't have a choice. Come on, let's go. 
I put the radio back in my pocket and began running, running up the stairs. Wouldn't get me doing that. I'd be like, we're going to walk. Because I'll be bloody knackered by the time I get to the top. And that is of no good to no one. Okay, next up. Okay. Alright, let me get my Faust. Actually, technically, it's your Faust. But let me, let me nab this Faust. Okay. Who was on the radio? I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, oh man. Oh, seriously, the stairwell is a real challenge, isn't it? Not the, not the Kurakumo clan guys. Curious, is it not? Hmm. What is? That they say they filled the stairwell full of weaklings who clearly don't know what they're doing. Perhaps they weren't trying to stop us from going upstairs. Perhaps they were afraid of retreating upstairs. No, it can't be. Angdu's expression darkened. Maybe she had an inkling of a bad omen. Dost thou worry for thy mentor? Don Quixote carefully sidled to Angdu's side with a sympathetic expression. How could I not? What kind of person was Mr. Uh, Bamboo Hatted Kim? Angdu appeared conflicted, and though she was trouble organizing her thoughts, she shook her head and sighed. What are your thoughts on the new Mersol ID? Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Was not expecting them to be a support ID, but I am fully on board. They are awesome. <laughs> they are so good. So good. He was a steadfast man. Protected what needed protecting, killed what needed killing. He was always one of the Blade lineage's finest. I dare say he was one of the most skilled swordsmen within the lineage. A man of few words who always sought to take good care of those under his wings. If only he had made that decision. My fellows wouldn't have not met such a terrible fate. Oh. Sinclair half opened his mouth, apparently curious as what the decision might have been, but he soon realized it was probably not the time to pry and quietly close his mouth. Mouth. Whichever may be the case, I have no choice but to make haste. Then, we have no choice but to make haste with her. Spot ID that deals 1k damage if he fails to do his job. Yeah! Not gonna argue with that. And the music is like probably one of my favorites that we've heard in the game, if I'm being honest. Well, how do you find the new Mercer ID? Ooh, the Oasis is not doing well. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> not do that one, then. <laughs> Save that. Mm, yep. Yeah. Bit more. Think that I will die if I can smoke before Ryoshi even finds out. Oh, my God. 3k damage? Look at that. Imagine just doing 3k damage. That'd be insane. I don't know what, I wonder what the most amount of damage one of my characters has ever done. A couple of hundred, probably. They always got hard idea music. God, everyone's talking. Flipping that, guys. Calm down. Got no bullets. Got nothing left. I've got no bullets. Let's build this for next round. 3k with Lucky Pouch. Damn. That's nuts. <laughs> And the new Faust as well is just like, like this poise is crazy. I don't think I've ever had so much critting in my life, which is very nice. Oh God, I just, the music is so good. <laughs> I'm just here like, ah, it's amazing. Oh, we're gonna have to do this. Okay. We're doing it. <laughs> Captain Ishmael giving you rousing speeches in the background. <laughs> He's so good. I can imagine it's legendary. <laughs> nice. Are you gonna use Don when you get her? I don't know. I mean, if I get the Dawn, well, I will get the Dawn. When I get the Dawn, and then I do have Otis, but I've heard that she's not the best. Um, so I would technically have enough, really. How many bullets you got? Great amount of bullets, okay. Um, so I mean, like, I could, theoretically, but 
Yeah, but then I'd have four for a blade lineage team, so I could do that. Because then I'm, I'm going to get the Faust, I think, as well. Faust is good. I mean, even if it's just these two, to be honest, it's still pretty good. Even if I just had, like, one more, it would still be good. Because then, then I've got, like, two. Nice. Don is really good poise port. Himsalt makes BL Otis decent. Can't wait to have a full blade lineage to take team to take on the railway. <laughs> I was gonna say I might need to have a gander of that. Engdu is cutting down enemies left and right in a desperate search for the mentor this Bamboo Hatted Kim. I'm pretty sure wounds are far from healed. I suppose that she's that determined. It makes me wonder who, what was Bamboo Hatted Kim like? I can tell you. I met them. Lots. For a legend. They were legendary. Okay, Mersault, Yisang, and Sinclair. Okay, four is strong number for the BL team if you don't want to build the full six. Right, I see. Captain always yapping. <laughs> yeah, we are getting into some trouble, huh? On crit, so any poison, so I don't do that. Yeah. You might have enough for the dawn. True. Might do. Always scares me when he, if he loses that first coin. <laughs> I want to do that. Blade lineage going to go through concrete, concrete RR three. I hope you do it. I hope you do it. Mersault invented BL. I had no idea. That's crazy. Unfortunately, almost all the current war fights are slashing. <laughs> No, they're not. That sucks. Oh, man. So, currently, no benefits to doing that. Damn. I was really hoping I was going to benefit from it as well. Having a new ID. Never mind. Amazing evade. Oh, interesting. And I'm just so wary that I don't want to like waste all my stuff building a full team and then not like it is my concern. Just because. Yeah, we're only around one. Um, just because um I do want to save for Kanto 5, to be fair. I gotta be gotta be wary of that. Got to be very wary of that, really. <laughs> Nice evade, mate. Nice evade. Let's see you do it again. You failed. Oh dear. It's just the crit hits. It's so cool. Damage isn't too bad, though. Okay. But she sure can dodge. The LE sang if you want to do a three team. Yeah, I've heard. I promise I don't have them. So I would have to get. Yi Sang and I'd have to get um Yeah. So I'd have to get Yi Sang and I'd have to get um Oops. Um the Faust. <laughs> Which to be fair, I mean I might yeah. But yeah. So it's a shame that I didn't get the Yi Sang for free. At the beginning. Hey Levan, hello! Have you joined this peak event? Oh it's so good. It's so goddamn good. How have you found it so far? And how have you found the new IDs? It did get a little bit delayed, yeah, to like end of March, right? For now. 90% of Canto 5 is weak to Pierce. You have BL Sinclair and you're not using it? Oh, I don't, know if that, I don't know if that was to me. I don't have BL Sinclair. But it might have been someone else I didn't see, sorry. Don and Fast enough. Just borrow you, Sang. I don't have the Don and the I've, I've only got Otis and Myrtle. You might not be talking to me. <laughs> I don't know. You might. Uh, I don't know. Hope Heathcliff can survive the throne's rabbit Heathcliff. I mean, you'll have to see. See how good it is. Full BL team looks good as hell. I want this music to play in every fight I do. <laughs> I want to be able to choose this music. I want this music to be my choice. I'm borrowing the Faust, yeah. I've only got the Mersol and then an Otis. That's all I've got. So I'd have to get Faust and Yi Sang. Yi Sang's pretty good, but I really like the um, the Faust a lot, actually. Faust is really good. Okay, 
Nice, do it. Yeah, let's go. Beautiful. Oh, well. Oh, damn, Owis, you got slappaged. Just do that. A bit risky, but still won. Nice. Um, imagine a feature where you choose BGM farming. I would love that. I would love, imagine that would be great. They could do that, right? That would be a great feature to add in. They should do that. <laughs> that would be really good if they did. That'd be great if they did. Okay, we've got like four more to, four more to go. Okay, we're making our way. Oh God, I've run out of thingy. <laughs> I've run out. Ah. Um. My brain, I was like, uh, my brain was like, what, what, what? Brain just had a moment then. I was like, can I not use that? So yeah, let me, um, have a cheeky read of this skill. So a five poise coin power inflicts one red plum blossom, which unique bleed max value 10. 10% chance for this unit to be critically hit for the unit's main target when, oh God, I love the music, it's so good. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying that today. When struck by a critical hit, the gain bleed value equal to half of the value and take. Oh, I see. Reduce value and hit. Okay. Acupuncture. Oh, this is like the same as the other one's got, but red. Okay. Okay. Game poise. Yeah. Skill three. Okay. So deal three more damage for every red plum blossom on target. Right. Okay. I see. Yeah. Consume half the poise count on self, then gain poise equal to the poise count consumed. Skill does not consume red um, plum blossom on, on it and inflict five. The target is 10, inflict one splash fragility and take more damage from slash. Oh, damn. Oh, that's good. Every four poise on self, gain final power plus one. And then, right, so, okay. So inflict plum blossom, if target is 10, inflict defense down instead. And then when the ally first deployed at the pre-team battle sets critically it hits with the slash type skill inflict. Down. Right, okay. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to get this Faust. <laughs> I think I am actually gonna have to get this Faust. She's really good. I'm enjoying using her a lot, actually. Yes, spend your loot. I really should, to be fair. We've got way too much. You're it's a little weird and debuffs with magic this. bullet, Otis, Captain Ismail, BL Salt, BL Faust, BL Dawn, and any ID. Choice Book of Pride makes a team. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I love how I've only got two of them. <laughs> I've needed so many more. Part one of them will take four years, so I don't know, yeah. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous on the splash, I do agree. Oh, shit! Hello. Uh, wasn't expecting you guys to uh, show up today. How's it going? How y'all doing? You guys okay? What's what's going on? Why why are we why are we here? What's happening? Oh yeah, let's not use that. Mm, can't really go against any of them really. Let's see. There could be, there could, okay, no, never mind. I was gonna say something, I'm not gonna say it anymore because it's dumb. It's stupid. Oh, this fight, hello. Hello, they have arrived. I always find them so cute. I wish they'd do like little plushies. That'd be kind of adorable. Oh boy. <laughs> Peak fiction coming. I'm ready for my peak fiction. I'm prepared. It better be here. I mean, it's to be fair, it's been here this whole time. I'm not gonna argue. And you're staggered, so. Build that up a little bit more. Right now, Netflix. Can you give me a moment, dude? Yeah, let's not use that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of what the second half is going to be. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Oh, can we stop? Oh, I see. I see. So I think Febro is just. The fuck is that? <laughs> what the? Okay. I mean, I want plushies of these, dude. 
dude. Um, wow, you can really see every organ, huh? They really just, they really made that quite visceral. I can literally make out the stomach, the intestines. Those might be lungs. Is that the rectum? <laughs> they literally put, wait, that is not, is it? I don't know if that's meant to be. Okay, it's just going to like the, I don't know. Okay, evolved. Oh my God, it's like Pokemon. I love it. I love it. Okay, fear is, the fear is, the fear has arrived. The fear is real. Georgie's slightly afraid of what's about to happen. Probably gonna be fine. I don't like it when the fear arrives, right? We, no, 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 no. Don't take the risk. Okay, it'll be fine. Neutral, but it's good because his, his SP is too good. So we need that shit to go down. Oh, okay, then we're gonna ignore you for a turn then, aren't we? Um, that one first. You. Yeah, this. Mm, yeah, this could be a little bit dicey. Okay. Fine. Food, just soak it up. Can we cook it? The big jelly looks kind of yummy. It's so cute. It literally is like a little Pokemon evolution. I love it. <laughs> They're so cute. But also, why are they evolving? Are they? Are they actually evolved? Is it because of the distortion? The the like monolith's influence? Oh my God, they. Oh, they've got quite a bit of HP. A bit stacked, actually. That's a bit concerning. I really should read their stuff. They remind me of ordeals with the ramping levels. Yeah, that's fun. Ooh, I really hope you're up to date with the whole PM verse because you're going to scream. At least I did. I'm not up to date with the whole PM verse, so I'm probably not going to know <laughs> what's going on, but I'm sure I'll find out. Okay. Unless this unit is staggered or part broken, take 50 lengths. Oh, right. Okay. Is it? Oh, right. Okay. Got it. God, this music is freaking catchy, though. Damn. So much. It's so good. Oh, we're not going on you, then. Still on one bullet. Okay. That is fine. Dominate. I kind of want to see if any of them aren't. Nope, they're all dominating. <laughs> I was like, maybe. <laughs> maybe one of these won't be. Um, nope. None of them are. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'll do it in a minute. Thank you. I haven't had to read an observation log in so long. Oh my god, I forgot. I'll read it in a moment. There's really so many observation logs I haven't read. I have to start doing that. Oh good, they're all staggered. Great, right. Uh, view observation logs. I haven't had to do this in so long. Okay, so the Particulum Morocetatus, I think? This is reminiscent of the previously observed insectoid entity with the translucent body. More organs required to maintain a biological organism have been identified inside of its body. Some of it has matured further. However, no physical characteristics enough can meet the criteria to constitute a living organism has been identified. A close analysis of its behavior and attack patterns reveals that the round object is a fluid sac of sorts. The fluid inside the entity's body appears to be connected with a sac. When the sac inflates, the internal fluid on its main body shrinks. Several organs that may constitute a leg or an antenna have been identified. No particular usage outside of the offensive use has been found. Prolonged observation of the entity remains inadvisable. Reminders of the negative past events remain unpleasant. Oh, okay. See, I can never guess who these are. I think that one kind of sounded like maybe Faust. It could be Faust, maybe, or Yi Sang, or maybe Ish. Myrtle, it was it? See, this is what I mean. I'm really bad at guessing. Oh, it's grown. Its eyes are more bloodshot and they're glaring at me fierce. Got a tail too. Okay, I think this one's gonna be um, Heathcliff. <laughs> I think I can summarize this report with it got creepier. Looks like it's weed dried squid legs got hydrated and slightly thickened. It's got more that red juice that gives me heartburn. It's still got that stabby attack, but it's certainly diversified its patterns. Here's the most memorable one. It tried to smack with its tail, remember? It couldn't do that before. Or maybe it could, but its stick bug legs couldn't support its weight. Mersol, maybe? I guess so, yeah. Well, it's not really my business, but here's another thing. The bug learned how to speak fire. Oh, spark fire. Speak fire. Uh, watch out for that burn, yeah? I don't suppose I need to let it hit me to know that it'll irritate me. I'll pummel it with my bat for his chance to make it move. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> it's 
spot on. See, I can recognise English, <laughs> like the like the British like little bits in there. I can recognise that <laughs> when he's like with the little abbreviations and things like that. I've got that down. But yeah, probably the only one I can really recognise. And Don, so I guess Don didn't really write many. But yeah, I'm not the best at recognising. Decipher O O F. I think someone did earlier. I think. Oh, oh, my frames dropped there. Sometimes. Don wrote one for the chickens. She did. I did. I do remember that. It was fun. Don has one for silk current. Oh, duck. I'll have to. I'll have to go into. When I go into mirror dungeon next, I'll have to check. There's probably gonna be someone. <laughs> I bet she doesn't. Do a cheeky wee bit of slappage. 78, yeah. Ooh. Nothing's quite enough, but we'll figure it out. Ooh! <laughs> oh! Oh dear. Oh! I'm back. Sorry, for some reason, I've started dropping frames. I don't know why. Interesting. Okay. I'm not quite sure why that's happening. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh no, is it affecting the stream super bad? Stream jumped? Yeah. The I, For some reason, I just dropped a load of frames. I'm not quite sure why. No, no, it's not just you. Yeah, it just dropped a load of frames. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, yeah. Back to normal. Yeah, it's also me. No, 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 it's, it's definitely me. YouTube's <laughs> iron. <laughs> it might be. Oh god, back to normal. Okay. okay. Continue quickly. God. God. Okay. okay, we'll try to speed this up and try and get through this. Try to do this quickly. Do this quickly. Sorry, guys, I was tuning the internet wise. How dare you? How dare you? Okay. I don't know what happened there. That's so weird. It's only ever done that in one of the stream, and I know the reason why. So, mm, okay. Did we just fight the particular? Petula, I think? Yes. Their appearance are rather dissimilar from what we've encountered before. They appear to have grown more acute. There are evolutions of each pecu pecatula. I can never say it. Ishmael, you're right. You're right. The kind of peccatula one transforms into depends on the type of sin that one has embodied in life, so it's no surprise that there may be variations to them. But we, we've never encountered anything like them before. Collecting the golden bows could have ex expedited the particular's growth process. Those bows. They really have something to do with everything, huh? Our job is starting to look a lot more serious. Right, that reminds me. Those pe peccatula are supposed to be representing some kind of sin, right? Sin. My thought grow distant and all of a sudden... No. The sinners grow distant while my thoughts draw near. Their voices grow muffled. The word sin feels oddly unfamiliar today. Oh! Whoa! What the fuck? It appears they've lost their sense of self. Their original form is now forgotten to oblivion. Self. Oh, oh my god, what's happening? Aren't distortions kind of similar to that? Hmm, some people become distortions and some people become peccatula. I wonder what the difference is. I think, I think I know. Planted in the hearts of all are the seeds with the ever-present potential to bloom. Executive manager? What you say? Thou talked over you, so I couldn't hear. If you would allow me to continue, maintaining the self even at times of extreme stress could be one to evolve into a distortion and... When the light of that day descends upon the hearts of every human blooming the seeds buried deep within. Manager? If one's... Something 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 devoured by their sins are reborn in the form of something, their image reflecting the something 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 dreamt by those who are nothing. Right, who's figured this out? Who's figured this out? Who has figured out what is being said right now? 
Because, god damn, that is a lot of missing words. Dante. Dante, what is... If one withstands something, 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 yet something, 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 of their sins, the heart, something. W what the hell? Clockhead, what in the bloody hell are you talking about? I yell like the sound of that. Has something gone awry with his prosthetic head? Sorry, with their prosthetic head. Sorry, my brain. Blah, 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 blah. I'm too busy. I'm, t I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really panicking right now. Yeah, if one seeks to bear the something, 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 the shall, something of their original hearts. Ego. Is that what you're speaking of? And in a world perceived through their own something, 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 the something shall be unveiled to something, their ego, something, 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 melt into something by something, 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 something of sin. What the fuck is happening right now? So I read a post about it. I'm gonna fucking look that up. Leviathan spoilers? Oh, is it? The hell is happening? Huh? They're starting to talk a bit like my grandfather. Huh? M manager, your head. Bit like wait, whoa. Bit like my grandfather? What does that mean? Executive manager, your head is on fire. Ooh, what a blaze. I think they're about to explode. Only those who can define their own. Maybe that's egos? Oi! I've got to do something before Clockhead bites it. Gonna die ideas, lass. I know not what to do. Only those who are awakened to their own. Gah, it's scorching. I thought I had that the manager's square and flame hand was merely for style, but not once I felt such heat from it. Faust, what if they accidentally activated the self-destruct sequence? Act this heat, if we don't douse it now, it's gonna melt everything around them. Yeah, it's a weird thing to say, Honglu. Yes, the operating principles are the same. Dante is, via the golden bow, is connected to the root of the sapling planted in the subterranean area of the headquarters. Which is to say that... Who gives a shite about the bow who's got to douse the flames on their head? Water just dust our one of water. We must make haste and douse the flames. Sometime later. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm glad the stream did not drop for that. What the fuck? Ugh. Pray and tell, art thou recovered? My eyes, if I had eyes, that is, slowly opened. I was lying on the ground, surrounded by the sinners. What happened? Do you not recall what had transpired? Uh, I guess I don't. I do remember walking up the stairs and suddenly feeling really dizzy. Executive manager, you must visit a workshop to get that looked at as soon as we return. Huh? A workshop? Did I malfunction or something? Don't talk about them like you're talking about some machine. Either way, there isn't anything we can do about what just happened, not here. We can discuss this later once we return. What just transpired does not seem to pose any hindrance to our mission. Well, it does if it, like, happens again. That's going to be a problem. And do, whereas she is advanced without us. While I remain curious yet concerned about your condition, we must reconvene with her. The situation calls for urgency. Yeah, okay. There was a lot I didn't understand, but since we're in the middle of an operation, let's deal with this first. What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay. That was insane. Um, okay, so for some reason, the sin just triggered a whole thing, but we don't know why. Okay, dark cloud. Uh, we finally arrived at the top floor of the building, the sixth floor. There was a nervous looking man checking his pocket watch. He carries a large sword and wears a nasty, nasty scowl. He has to be the leader of the gang of the Kurakumo clan henchmen we've defeated along the way. Oh, okay. Bumping into the leader. Why hasn't Dante weaponized their flaming hedge? I don't know. But maybe they should be a useful Kajira. skill. Shugiro. Dante removed the spoiler tag, Dante. Ooh, who is this? Is this who Gregor's idea is based off? Because, um, they look kind of sick. <sighs> Why'd this have to break? Why now? There was a nervous looking man at the top of the stairs on the up uppermost floor of the building. The funny counterman! The nightmare! <laughs> Mirror dungeon! Wait, what? Oh no. I can immediately tell this man was unlike any other foe would face in this building. Better be quiet in there. I hope that thing at least stays put. He kept looking into his pocket watch as though he was expecting something awful to come out of the door. He is... His garb, which highly resembles a Kurokumo clan standard outfit, suggests that he is a relevant individual in this case. It is possible to extrapolate from his outfit that he is of a higher rank than any of the foe we've defeated on the course of this location. Then, before he even had the chance to suggest waiting a bit to come with the strategy, Ang Du was already ch charging at the man. You must be a captain from the Kurokumo clan. What the? You wish to hunt the blade lineage? Very well, I stand here before you face my blade. 
I suppose this means that all my men are dead, huh? I toss you into that office if I could, but the merchandise is still in there. Oh, come on. I suppose I've got no choice but to fight. At least allow me to introduce myself, then you can tell me who you are. Name's Jun, captain of the boys you killed. Eng Du, Talsu from the lineage of Blades. A follower of the mentor Bamboo had a Kim. The hallway before the door falls silent, as calm as a winter's dawn. Gregor is based off Jin from Ruiners. Oh, okay, okay, got it. The two warriors, blades drawn, begin to take cautious steps as though they're attempting to go to the distance between each other. Ha! There was a sudden flash when it came to my senses, the pair had suddenly switched sides, facing away from each other. The outcome of this clash. Oh, shit. Ugh. Come on, that's it, huh? Miss Engdu! Appears to have been Engdu's defeat, she fell to her knees. I mean, I was just getting started. I'm surprised you even had any any energy left for that attack. Ugh. She's been fighting the Kurokuma clan henchmen on the front line before we even had the chance to catch up, no wonder she's exhausted. I must also remind you that she was on the verge of death not so long ago. She's overexerted herself. They changed the music? I don't know. What, are the rest of you going to fight me too? This hardly seems fair, me against all of you. This Jun resting his blade in his shoulder with an annoyed scowl. I could tell from his single clash against Engdu that he wasn't going to go down easily. Well, I don't like the all ganging up against this one guy, but... You've got one loud-ass clock for a head. What even is that? Is that some kind of local T-Corp cor clock shaped pathetic fashion or something? It is a clock, right? You there, is that clock head on time? Mate, what do you think? That clock ain't for telling time. Huh? Then what'd you decapitate yourself for? What a useless clock. Okay then. Any of you got a timepiece, a clock, a watch, anything? My stupid watch broke again. The sinners wordlessly began, wordlessly began to surround Jun. Guess not. Are any of you even wearing a watch? You must all be insane, sauntering around without a timepiece. Even if I did, I would hardly find it within myself to show it to thee. You're all really getting on my nerves. You know what? That's it. I'll be in deep shit if I let anyone in there anyway. So come on and get me. I'll cut you down if this is the last thing I do. He's gonna be strong, isn't he? <laughs> He's gonna be strong. But hopefully, maybe I could clash metal with him. And we'll see. Oh, we still got a round of this to do. Okay. Bought it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel so Okay. A skill for all 27. Are you being serious right now? That's that's high. That is quite high. I don't like that. I don't know if I buy that because Jin didn't have a gilded blade like Greg does in the ID. Oh, okay, got it. I got it. Interesting. Ooh, is amazing. We'll go for it. Oh, you've got none. Bum 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 bum. Just say it's not fair while he's countering us harder than we do. <laughs> oh great, he's gonna counter us. Awesome. I can't wait for that. It's alright, we'll just counter back. <laughs> counter chain! <laughs> Scared. Mind the counter. I'm, it's, I'm a bit nervous about it if I'm being honest. It's not gonna be fun. Guaranteed. Fun not guaranteed. Try and get you in negative SP. Who Jun's coming shows this funny? I'll have a look. Be careful of the skill G. Oh, I will. The good news is we've got Faust with us, so you know what we've got? Healing. <laughs> I have my healing. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Gonna need it. Not in the story mode now. Oh wait, actually. No shit, I don't have my Faust with me, so I don't I may not have my healing. I don't know if this Faust has got fluid sack. That sucks. <laughs> I don't know if she does. Oh, quick gander. You do have fluid sack, but we don't have the stats for it. Okay, I can build those, that's fine. We can we can build them up before the next fight, just in case we need it. Just once. Because we've been using a lot of uh, this skill instead, which I don't normally use that much of. His counter is on another level. I'm a bit worried about it. You guys are scaring me a bit. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, healing. Nah, you'll be fine. Healing, ha. Huh? <laughs> healing, of course. Nice. Fucking like one on one. What bullcrap? Utter bullcrap. Oh god. Okay. 
Captain Jun. Okay, so skill. So shadow card. If the target is bleed, deal 10 damage. Inflict four bleed. Oh shit. The amount of bleed. Target is five bleed. Coin power. Last for oh god, not Lenticular slash. If target is five bleed, coin power plus one. So apply two slash damage up to all allies, including this unit. Gain two slash power up. Inflict. If the main target is ten plus bleed, attack weight plus one. If this unit is five, attack deals this turn. Final power. Good deal. All allies heal ten SP. Jeez, I want more coins surviving other ally. Per surviving other ally. Oh god, right. But he's going to do oh great. So he's gonna be really strong. Oh, please. Flash card. Flippin' heck! He's flipping goated. Okay. So this is going to be fun. Oh, I hate when I have to do these ones in boss fights. Ugh. Okay. Well, they've all got freaking evade. All eyes heal 20 SP. You can't heal if your sinner dies first. <laughs> That's a good point. That is a good point. Problem this fight is using human combat mode, not Abner combat mode, so we can't target with yielding flesh. Yes, that is the problem I've immediately identified and I don't like. <laughs> I instantly don't like it. So I'm not super happy about that, if I'm being honest. I wish they'd at least given us a choice. Um, Clicked. Go with that. Yeah, not great. I'm not particularly pleased that I can't, I can't choose. Um, well, let's not do that first turn. Yeah, because it would be nice if I could actually aim these freaking skills at people. Oh, when did I use Honglu? So yeah, this, yeah, the good news is if I get rid of allies, if I get rid of the allies quite quickly, they're going to lose coins. So it's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Let's try and do that. Your team is made up of every meta character, honestly, babe. <laughs> I was like, hey... Oh! Oh! <laughs> ah! The amount of damage that just occurred! Fucking hell! Oh my god, let's go Otis. Let's go Otis. Let's go. That- Oh my god, my heath. My heath. Fuck! Oh god, who else? Oh, my Mersault got staggered. I don't even know how that happened. I don't even know how that happened. The counter, that, that counter is fucking bad. That counter is nasty, man. Damn, lucky that was Heath, yeah. Unfortunate that he got bloody countered as well. Wow. I mean, oh great, and he's got people bloody attacking him. Oh, he's got him attacking him. Wait, how many fucking attacks does this dude have? Does he have four attacks? Fucking hell, this is the worst way to do this fight. What the hell? This is an awful way to do this fight. Can't put shit like that in a fight like this. Right, well, I'm gonna shoot at them. <laughs> I'm going to shoot them. <laughs> it's my solution to this scenario. Oh my God, you're gonna use that? <laughs> He's gonna fucking die. He's gonna die. No, I mean Sinclair, not me. <laughs> no, not him. Okay. I mean, everything. I mean, we've got some good stats. It's just whether or not we can survive that fucking counter. If we can kill some of the other guys, though, that'd be nice. Try and get that happening. I'm concerned. Oh my god, he survived. He fucking survived it. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> That counter is insane. I'm glad that's only one once per turn. Yes! Oh no! Gron! Gron Sinclair! You, oh, come on, you've got two very nice attacks for him. Oh my god, come on, you can do this. Come on! Oh, so close! I think he's staggered, but- Oh no! Wait, I think we got him! Oh my god, we got him. <laughs> that was in the nick of time. Oh, oh, poor, oh, poor Yisang. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. That was scary. <laughs> that was very scary. 
Oh, purged. Oh, yeah. That's why I bring this Sinclair everywhere. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. See where everyone was afraid of this guy's counter. That was that was a bit nasty. That was a bit of a nasty fight. That was I think that was pure RNG. RNG. My skill had nothing to do with it. There. That was pure RNG. Is this mirror dungeon? No. This is the new 5.5. Imagine this in mirror dungeon. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not imagining that. He's worse in mirror dungeon. I don't want to imagine it in mirror dungeon. <sighs> now let's converse for a moment. Angdu seems to have recovered somewhat as we fought. She bound Jun with a rope before throwing him onto the ground. Ugh. Bro, it's not even Mirror Dungeon. I don't want to go against him in Mirror Dungeon. I do not expect a mere captain to know why your organization has put a bounty on our heads. But I cannot quite place the reason you were standing guard before this room. It's as though you were protecting our mentor from us, us of all, all people. Wait, it wasn't just you, was it? Every Kurokomo clan filth we found on our way here. They were killing our way up to this floor stood in our path like they were protecting something with their lives. Fine. Here's the truth, then. We're the victims here. Whatever do you mean? You guys really have a way of pushing my buttons, huh? We weren't even part of the party pushing you or cutting you down. It was none of my business. You're just one of the many, many syndicates and organizations that were lucky enough to be on the thumb shit list. Our running was a mere coincidence. We were ordered by the Thumb to stand guard next to the Black Stella here, that's all. Everyone was on edge because we were supposed to transport elsewhere pretty soon. And that's when you Blade Lineage bastards appeared out of nowhere. Out of nowhere? I see, so this is where our mentor has awakened. You... sounds like you know something that I don't. Can't say I've ever heard of a tech that could blip people into existence just like that. Thought they were using a singularity or something to- Oh! Oh, is this? Because oh, I don't obviously know the ins and outs, but I do know that when people awaken from the book, from the runa, they kind of appear. So I wonder if this is, af this is literally just after ruin, like as in like he's awakened after the runa stuff. I don't know that for certain. I don't know the ins and outs of the law, obviously, but I think that might be what happened. Thought they were using a singularity or something. Besides, the blade lineage never had a chance. Our numeric advantage was insurmountable. Of course. We had your friends cornered. We had no trouble cutting them down until there were but three of you left standing. Then all of a sudden, your boss's eyes suddenly began to glow and... Uh, he cut down everyone around him. It was a one-sided slaughter. What? Then... You got that right. Blade lineage Kurokumo clan. It didn't matter. He cut through everyone. So what the hell was I supposed to do? What were we supposed to do? I'm the captain, the lives of my men are my responsibility. I had to save them somehow. So I stayed behind to guard the door when my men guarded the entrance to this building. What other choice did I have? You're not far off, G. It, yeah, it's probably something like that, but... Shit, delivery deadline's coming up, I'm finished. This won't end with me having to cut off a finger or two. Damn it. Engdu struck the back of Jun's neck with a swift position and dropped him to the floor. Engdu! That man had already been subdued! Why thought didst thou... I have merely put him to sleep. He would have caused us trouble if we attempted to enter that room while conscious. I must talk to the mentor, see him with my own eyes. Have you gone deaf, lass? Your boss cut down anyone who got too close. No, that cannot be. Dante, we can infer from what information we have gathered that... Yeah, I agree. There's a powerful aura coming from behind that door. I can sense it. Our mentor. Engdu's hands tremble as they wrapped around the doorknob. We must prepare for battle. I know that Mentor Bamboo had a kin will do no such thing. She slammed the door open, only to come face to face with a distortion. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god, that's dope. Oh, that is dope. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm a bit scared. The fear is real. The fear is... Oh, God. Okay. We can face face with Engdu's mentor. Look, a cold blue light from his eyes seems past the crack of the slanted bamboo hat. He won't go down without a fight. <laughs> I've got to fight him. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm a little bit scared of what's about to happen. Oh, I should have gone and claimed my bones. I didn't. Oh, well, I'll do it at the end. It's fine. I'll see how much I need to grind out anyway. Mentor, what is this? I recognize these wounds. These are your techniques. How could you put your blade to our fellows? 
Attempting to communicate seems futile. Pitch black flames lingered behind this man she called Bamboo Hatted Kim, her mentor. Something had devoured him. There was something in his eyes. The music of this fight? I'm so excited. <laughs> you have enough currency to get Don? Oh, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm scared. Fiendish malevolence. I could definitely sense it. This was a distortion. Cease your beastly howls and talk to me, please. Say something. Oi, don't get too close. The distortion unsheathed its blade in the blink of an eye. It sensed that something had entered its range. That stench, you're really going to kill? Get, get out of the way! As Eng do stood there confused, Sinclair urgently hurl, hurled himself in her direction, and in that brief moment, the distortion's blade is descending upon them as though it bisected the very space they inhabited. I surmise that Sinclair has entered the distortion's range as well. We have no choice but to suppress it. Going for revenge, she. Oh god. <laughs> I'm scared. She took spice bush, it's over. You just killed him earlier this week. I did. I did. Listen, let's try. Do not let his sanity drop. Okay. I will read in a minute. <laughs> I'm a bit worried. We tend to stop sensing the changing atmosphere. We slowly raise our weapons. Oh, I'm a bit worried. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. Um. Oh my god. Okay, he looks dope, but this is going to be hard, isn't it? Draw the sword, okay. Paralyzer. So inflict bleed, gain two poise, poise, clash win, okay. Evade, oh you fucker, okay. Passives, okay, so we don't know. Observation logs, nothing yet, okay. Okay, so. Decreases after winning a clash based on the clash count. Increases after losing a clash based on that. Okay, so we want him to lose clash, got it. Him will get revenge on you, Georgie. <laughs> Small to Mr. Just win the clashes. Okay. It's kind of not amazing in this. Look, we, well, I've got to give it a go first, right? Let's try first. Oh, God. This is going to be where it's all going to be favored. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, mate. They're all on the certain people. That sucks. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, neutral's good. Neutral I can work with. These are all favored. This is not gonna work well for me, is it? This is not gonna go well. And I can't even clash this one out. Wonderful. I look, oh God, like there's two of them I can't clash out because they're all on Sinclair. This is great. <laughs> this has started really, really well. He smells fear. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this ain't great. This is not good. I can't, I can't clash half these out. Sinking's on record, it's, it's too late. We're doing it now. He's also really freaking fast. Yeah, hence why he's, dude, this dude is fucking terrifying, man. Look, oh my God. He's so cool though. This is the problem, I'm just gonna be sat here like. <laughs> okay, right. Well, I can't do much. I can't, I mean, okay. How, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Um, so Sinclair is not the one like to tank these. Really? So what might be? Oh no! I um, oh, okay. Okay, I can take. Okay. Okay, Sinclair will get hit by one, and then Heathcliff can take one, and then he'll have to just take the other one. Okay, because yeah, I can't have Sinclair tanking two of them. It's a bit too much annoyingly as much as i would bloody love to but there's not a great deal i can do right now about this so we're just gonna have to begin see what happens and then go from there okay oh god this is terrifying oh god this is freaking dope though this is gonna be a tough fight That's manageable. <laughs> just watch it. Imagine you just fully clash that out. That oh, he's got Endure on. Okay, so he's got Endure on that. Okay, so that might be a character I need to change out. Oh god, he he absolutely just bashed away his HP. That's really bad. Okay. 
Okay. The BGM goes insanely hard. It's awesome. It's awesome. I don't like these all coming up with, with favored. It's not good. Okay, okay. Good news is they're not well aiming at Sinclair, so that's good. I, wa I want his red one to come up so we can look. <laughs> I really want his red one to come up. I'm just like, come on. And I'm like, oh god, I can't even do that yet. Struggling, that's bad. This is bad. He's, his skills are nuts, man. I've only got this one. Okay, at least if Sinclair's not getting hit. Insane. Insane. Increased slash resist. Oh. oh. Slash resistance down? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I think that's just worded slightly wrong. See, I don't like all these because they're all favoured and then we're still getting absolutely slapped. This is really bad. Yeah, see his. Oh, I see his stuff's already going down. Team up. I think we need. I think I need more slash. Yeah. Right. Let's change the team up, because I I don't see it going much better than that. <laughs> okay. I think I already know who I'm gonna bring. Okay. Listen. You don't need to tell me twice. Okay. We're in for a fight. We've got a foe here. We have got a foe. So um. Definitely still bringing you. I'm definitely still gonna bring you. That is enough. Okay. I don't think he was doing too badly, but he is fatal to slash, which is not great. And he's more pierce. So I think pierce was okay. I think it's this one that he just is. So she's gonna be completely useless. So is she. And so is he, right, yeah. Okay. So are you. I need to swap you. Well, I was being the Greg. Actually, who are you? Out of out of interest. Okay. Pierce is better. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. What about you? Oh. Could bring that Greg. They would be slightly better. I think you're. Yeah, that Rio shoot. Boom. Okay. Okay. So you, you, you. Bring Greg. To be fair. <laughs> and I'm like, who are my slash team members? That is probably my best bet team. we Rio is a good choice. You slash IDs. Yeah. Well, I've got like slash and then they've got like Pierce. So there's no Blunt. And I think Blunt was what he was like basically fucking immune to. Be careful about your weaknesses. That's the scary thing, is the weaknesses aren't great. Also, I would like more of this because then I can actually use healing, which I don't currently have. So that does not make me super happy. Um, but yeah. It's weird because it says slash resistance down, but then increases the modifier when it's- Yeah, that is wrong. It's, I was looking at it and I was like, no, I don't think it increases the resistance. It increases the weakness. <laughs> I was like, yeah, not super great. I mean, you can still nuke him with magic bullet skill three. True, but it's getting to that point and it's actually getting to the point where I can clash out. Blunt era is over. I know. Bluntium is gone. I might try this before I get Don BL because I don't know if I'm going to build Don and I don't want to shove resources into building the character and then not. But let me try this first. If this doesn't work, I'll get Don and then we'll try again because then I've got three BL team. But let me try this first because it might work and I'd rather use what I've already got than build characters just for one fight. So yeah, let's do that first. I don't think you need the healing that bad. The fight is pretty manageable. Yeah. But yeah, let's let's try this first and then I'll get Don BL and go from there. But yeah, this is a very slash focused team and Honglu does have some good clashes. Ryoshu might be okay, but she's also got a good dodge. So this might be a bit better, but let's give it a go. If this doesn't work, we'll try, we'll try, we'll get the Don. I know, the blunt era is over. Okay, we can skip this. Okay. Shouldn't be doing this on two hours sleep. 
<laughs> what an awful fight to do on two hours sleep. Fucking hell. Okay, oh, that's a better start, though, because now I'm not starting with all fives, so the speed's a lot nicer. So are there any non Honglu? I hate my life. Goodness sakes. I just hate that they're all favoured. It's, it's just, it makes me nervous. Greg, my boy. Please don't slap Greg too hard. Oh, Ryoshi was already struggling. That's not great. But what we can do, I think, is I can at least redirect it away. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, that's not too bad. Oh, actually, wait a second. Oh, no, I can't do that. It's not going to work. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Not great, they're all still favoured, which isn't great, but at least I can fully clash out everything that's there, unlike before when I couldn't. <laughs> which wasn't great, so... Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's try. Yeah, see, like, god, the speed of these dice is just... Oh, <laughs> fuck! This dude's dice speed is nuts, man. Oh my boy! <laughs> he's surviving. Not doing great amounts of damage, but he's surviving. <laughs> At least that was survivable. <laughs> Minus 17 already. We're so fucked. You want. You really want one good turn for this fight. Okay, well, it's not this turn. <laughs> it's already not this turn because everything is aimed at two characters. Uh, yeah, so I can't clash everything out. So it's already not this turn. Um, I can tell you that all right now. Okay. Fucking annoying. This is a huge problem. This is this is a massive problem. I can't even clash everything out because he's so fast. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, this is awful. Holy shit. Yeah, this is really bad. Hmm. Can we see Kim's boat claiming process? Yeah, you're absolutely going to be able to see it. Would it. Well, actually, no. Well. You'll be able to see the normal move, but then we'll lose the clash. So but I'm probably going to use Mersault in that. So maybe we'll actually get to see my Mersault use it, which could be fun. But maybe we'll actually get to see something good. Full team of clashes is pretty easy if you slam the big coins on him. Yeah, you kind of need it. Relax, you got Mersault, who can't do anything. <laughs> the Mersault can do nothing is the problem. So I literally have clashed out one, which is not good. God, I mean, I guess Elise is on Heathcliff, who's at least a bit tanky, but yeah. And my poor Greg. I mean, I might be... No, because I've got a clash. Probably better off clashing it. I'm be better off clashing it. Uh, at least I'll try. We'll try. Yeah. This could be a problem. Oh, he avoided it. He's evading everything. He said, like, he saw how I trounced him in Ruiner, and he was like, no. Oh my god, he's actually gonna kill him. This is going really bad. <laughs> This is not. <laughs> this is going so badly, and everything's in Heathcliff. He does not like Heathcliff at all. He no. Oh god! It look at his morale. Fuck. How is how is your morale that low? Oh, no, I guess that's how it works, though, doesn't it? Why is that dominating? 
I'm so pissed. Like, come on. Out of everything, that's the one? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. He's so dead. He's so... Heathcliff is fucking dead. He's so dead. Gain grown resentment next. I hate you. <laughs> oh, he's so dead. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> this fight is difficult. I just wanted it. I know this sounds stupid, but I wanted it to be easy because I'm tired. Oh. Come on. Please. We're so fucking dead. Oh. He yields his flesh too hard. I know. <laughs> yep, there's my dead Heathcliff. Awesome. Okay, this is going really good. This is this is what I actually wanted. If you guys didn't know, this is what we wanted. Oh, dude, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered to sit here and do this like ten times. Oh, and now he's going after Mercer. Oh, great. Awesome. Oh, for God's sake. I can't clash anything. <laughs> Try this turn. Ugh. You should have failed to yield my flesh. How could I choose that? Bone claiming to. Oh, I see. Um. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> I literally can't do anything. <sighs> the red skill. I know, but I can't do anything against it. I can't do anything. It's all hopeless. <laughs> Don't quit. Yeah, but I can't do anything. <laughs> I think we're all just gonna die. Can we do damage that can make him stack? I mean, we're getting close, which is nice. But it's if we can survive getting up to that point. Let him cook. Gee, you're right. Let's let Bamboo have to Kim cook. <laughs> that is absolutely what I should do, is I should let him continue. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. Oh no, this is bad. Um, Yeah. Uh, let's at least appreciate the animation. True. I mean, I can't do anything else anyway, so I might as well. Eh. Yeah, this dude is nuts, though. I love his design. It's so sick. It's just not the time for me to appreciate this fight. Oh, I'm too tired for this fight. Fuck. He brought it, though. I give him props because I did really kick his ass in the Ruiner, so... That's what I need. I need Roland. <laughs> I need Roland to come back. That's insane! Wow! Look at that! Wow! Holy shit, that's amazing! <laughs> Evan Sword! Oh man! Damn! That's amazing! Holy shit! That was cool! That was dope! <laughs> strongest poise I did in history versus the strongest poise of now? That looks cool! That looks really cool! Yeah. He's claiming their bones, he is. He is. I love why he's minus 45 SP and still going strong. Still going strong. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think we might have lost. <laughs> Where is everyone? A uh, bit over here, bit over here, bit over here. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um. I don't even... Where's the other one? Oh, maybe over here? Yeah. A little bit everywhere. Yeah. You can still win, I believe you cannot. No, I don't believe either that I could still win. And that's okay. That is okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> no bones? There's no bones. There's no fucking bones. How dare? Oh yeah, no, I am way too tired for this fight. Fucking hell. Uh, okay. <laughs>
<laughs> you'd win? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't fucking shift into ego. <laughs> we don't, I don't, can't even get enough shit to shift into ego. Fucking crazy. Make sure to bring a clash of heavy team. Right, yeah. Well, see, if I brought my regular team, though, you'd all tell me that it's not the right team to bring. And that's my clash of heavy team, which isn't actually a clash of heavy team, probably for this fight, because they're not. it's not a slash team. So it's not going to necessarily work which is the problem also i did bring a few of my clash of heavy characters and they couldn't clash <laughs> so it's a real problem but yeah i saw an lcb ryoshu and so that's, i mean that's insane that's insane it's so dope though when people can do that like soloing like it's it's how they do it is so clever it's great Damage doesn't matter if he can't get an attack off. Yeah, but the problem is not a single one of my characters has blocked an attack. <laughs> this is harder than the rest. Yeah, this is a really tough fight. This is my Queequeg again. Because I got really stuck on her last time. But this is that again. <laughs> I was so near the end and then I can go and sleep. Oh, God. <laughs> I just want to go to bed. Oh, fucking hell. Right, okay. Ugh. How did your pulls go? Oh, not very good. We didn't really get... I got Greg, which is good, but I had to buy... Okay, well, if I'm going to do it how I would do it, how I would set up my team normally, um, my normal team setup is like this. <laughs> Oh. Beep. No. Nope. Probably like that. Which isn't... Which is enough to build my egos that I would usually use. But it's probably not going to work for this fight. But that's like my normal team. So, yeah. Like, that's my normal team that I would use. Because I... It builds up enough ego for me to use, which is mostly his egos. Um, and Heathcliff's. Soloing is very hard to do. It's insane. That's too sinking is. I know. Which is why when someone said, use your Unga Bunga team, that's my Unga Bunga team. <laughs> so it doesn't work. It's the problem. We have the wrong team. It's RNG. <laughs> really annoying boss in that way. Oh, yeah. Yi Sang and Ishmael will tank his SP like that. <laughs> they probably will, which is nice. Um, But yeah. Heath is really bad because he's fatal to Kim's damage. Yeah, which is a shame. Try your teams that you're more familiar with them. True, but also... I don't... I, I mean, I can try. I just don't... I don't know if they're going to work. <laughs> Massively. Swap Yi Sang with Faust? I guess I could. I mean, she is a slash character. See, with her, it's more about, um... With her, it's... I mean, to be fair, I mean, it would build enough to get the fluid sack, which is usually what I like to use. So I would get enough for that. Desi Rodian clashes well, but the sinking doesn't matter much. Um... SCB Sang has bad clash, to so skip him. Yeah. I mean, actually, Spice Bush doesn't have bad clash, but I think it does in this circumstance. Yeah, clashing is king in this fight. I mean, R Rodian can do good clashing. See, she can do very good clashing, and so can... But the thing is, like, even with Sinclair, even if he clashes bad, it's not a bad thing, because then it helps his SP go down, which is kind of what we want. So it's not a bad thing for him, because then he gets obviously gets stronger with that. Um, Maybe we'll swap out Heathcliff for oh. her. Tempo. Which may not be the best, but... She may not do loads of damage, but she, I think she could clash out quite well. Which is a good thing. Because if she can clash better, that could work. Just spam him with ego. We can't claim all of our bones. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Fluid sack is good. Uh, fluid, fluid sack is great. Does loads of damage. Yeah, not in this circumstance though, but she might be good at clashing. She might actually work with clashing in this because she is pretty decent. Especially her skill three. So that could work, potentially. That could help. Kind of treat like the Ricardo fight and after first turn, say ignore clashing and just go for stagger. 
that's true and she would be better at tanking that her i mean fair between her and rhino mersol they're both quite tanky and if i can get egos i can get fluid sack ego to help heal them if needed and they do have a relatively low stagger bar so that's not the worst shout to be honest actually yeah the yeah Hmm. Alright, yeah, let's give it a try. Let's give it a whirl. Let's just try it. If not, I don't I don't wanna not do this this stream, but also I am also very aware that I'm very much flagging. And I d I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna just be sat here like so yeah but i want to finish this story so it would be nice if i could do that right let's see how we get on with clashing and then i mean it's all twos maybe the game's taking pity on me and making them lower deliberately see it's a, he's got a dominating one. Oh my god rhino mersault this is why i always equip rhino mersault he's actually got a dominating one. Oh my god that's the first time we've seen one <laughs> i'm just like okay i can't use that oh my god Okay. We've actually got a good one. Okay. Let's just... Yeah, let's not do that. I'm gonna get you. Wow, we've actually got one dominating on here. Interestingly enough. Oh, this one. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Yes, get him fast! <laughs> okay. Look, let's just see. Oh! Nice. Look. Not gonna do a shitload of damage. But if I can just get them if I can get them lower to stagger, I can build ego and then I can ego spam this bitch. <laughs> <To oblivion. laughs> okay, that was a better start. That, oh, and I can actually clash everything out. Okay, that was a better start than last time. But we're we're literally at the beginning of the fight, so let's not get too excited. Oh my god, that's dominating. Hang on a minute. <laughs> okay, you've only got five, so not yet. That's dominating. Wait. <laughs> I'm just like, wait a minute. Okay, that's okay. That's unopposed. Oh, who's that aiming at? Okay. Oh, wait a second. Who's that one aiming at? Oh, that's aiming at her. Oh, shit, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, wait. I can... Sorry, never mind. I'm dumb. I just realized I've got no bullets. So how is that going to fucking work? Can she do that one? That's neutral. How is that dominating? She doesn't have any bullets. Okay. I don't know how that's going to work, but okay. That's interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. I really hope she doesn't shoot herself in the face. Because sanity is high. Interesting. Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna just hold off on any form of excitement. I don't know what you're gonna, sh oh, oh, that's what you're gonna shoot. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, this is good though. If it, oh no, never mind, you're gonna win anyway. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is going okay. Inside three on Destiny, set so a bottom skill to guard and don't. Is that a bottom skill to guard and don't use it? Do you, do you mean don't use the guard skill? What, do that and then don't use it? Discard skill of the highest rank. Okay, you might need to explain that one to me. I don't use Desi Rodin enough to know everything, like how to use her properly yet really, because I need to sort of like practice a bit, if I'm being honest. 45 SP. 
That went a lot better than I thought. You might need to tell me if that's the wrong thing to do, but yeah. This is going better, I'm suspicious. <laughs> I'm like, why did it go so wrong last time? And now it's going so much better. What, what happened? How did this happen? How is this, how has this happened? I don't understand how this has happened. If it's guard skills on board, you can't discard. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I can't guard that, which is going to Otis. So wait, so wait. Can we move the there? Who's that going to? Oh, you're going to Sinclair. Oh, you can clash that then. And then... Any rupture, to be fair. Okay. It's the first turn. It's probably, it probably is a bit of RNG, to be honest. Don't think you're wrong. Maybe the game heard me bitching. <laughs> the game heard me complaining and was like, um, we better do something quick because she's going to quit and then cry. <laughs> she didn't do this. Ah, don't combat that, please. Oh, I think he just went in stagger. I think he just went in stagger. He's like Sinclair. Yeah. Didn't lose much, it's okay. Oh my god, he's actually in stagger! And you're using the IDs you used to. You're right, I should just not change the IDs I use. <laughs> that, you're right, that is the lesson I've learned. If you change the IDs you're used to using, you will fail. So never change them. You're right. <laughs> Get his ass now! Yeah. <laughs> I love how that's the lesson we've learned today is Georgie should not ever change anything she likes because it doesn't go well. Especially when she's tired. But yeah, sorry, Kim Salt. Uh, Rhino, Rhino Salt has just come along and just, yeah. You're fucking kidding me. You're app. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was getting my ass so handed to me. <laughs> that is fucking insane. What the, what the fuck? I was getting my ass handed to me and that's all it took. I hate, I hate my life. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, great. The good news is we can finish up though. So that's good. That, <laughs> see, that's insane. I changed them to blades and won. See, yeah, see, I took all my blades out on a wood. I think it just depends. That just disintegrated at the end there. That was actually just ridiculous. <laughs> Are you gonna still sard Faust? Well, apparently not, no. Apparently, no, <laughs> I'm not. Level up, I know, it was nice. Not leveled up in a long time. <sighs> Bamboo hatted Kim kneeled and caught his breath. Something began to shimmer behind him. Good job. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank you all for your help. I do appreciate it. I was... The tiredness hit me very hard. I was like, this boss is awesome, but like... Yeah, because Kim works, you will fulfill you. The stomp him into the dirt, you get annihilated. <laughs> very little in between. That was exactly what it was. Got annihilated twice. Third time, I was like, we'll see, but I don't believe in myself. And then we actually did it. Wait, this is another fight? I didn't think this was a fight. I thought it was just like a... I didn't have to pick any thingies. Bamboo had to Kim kneeled and caught his breath. Something began to shimmer behind him. This is a dungeon, a mirror dungeon of the Fathoms. This is just like the Ding Dong Bar Friars, huh? It's Yunbog's Gregor's Yunbog. He has already entered the dungeon. Ah, <sighs> so we've got to follow the bloke, eh? Yeah, we were ordered to secure the distortion as well, so. An immense heavy sensation emanates from within that space. That monolith has to be somewhere in there too. Let us follow. While she was clearly dumbfounded by the turn of events, I could tell that she was determined to see this to the end. We had nothing more to add. Advancing. This is... This place has taken the likeness of S-Corp. Not just anywhere in S-Corp. You call this place the Fathom of Egos. It appears the Bamboo... Mentor Bamboo had a Kim's memories are affecting this place. Is that all from the past that... Is that all from his past that you are aware of? No, nothing in detail. I don't believe that I have the right to divulge a depiction of his past based in hearsay either. Hmm. Engdu continued in a morose tone. When he appeared so suddenly at this building, I don't suppose he had much trouble cutting down the Kurokumo clan henchmen. 
I am certain he was flanked by competent men and women. It would not have mattered how many henchmen they threw against the mentor, nothing short of a Kuakumo clan officer would have given him any trouble. In fact, I surmise that he would have been able to cut down a hundred of their men on his own. But, not all of those who accompanied Master Bamboo had a kim were as powerful as he. His capabilities lie far beyond our own. His fellows must have fallen one by one before the endless onslaught of the Kurakomo clan henchmen. And I cannot help but imagine that the sight must have reminded him of a rather tragic event in his past. An unpleasant event that likely shook Mentor Bamboo had akin to the core. That alone fits numerous criteria that make it ripe for a manifestation of a distortion. He was in a very receptive state to the monolith's inf influences as well. So that is how the Mentor became beholden to his blade, like a fiend. Yet still, how could he? We remained wordless in advance as Aang Du despondently muttered to herself. It was silent save for the sound of our shoes lightly pressing into the soft soil beneath our feet. Are we about to do a whole dungeon? <laughs> How long is this gonna take? I'm so fucking tired! God damn it! Oh no! <laughs> oh fucking hell! Oh man. Poise. Obviously, we need poise, don't we? Um, apply two poise potency to one random ally. First, all allies gain four, four poise potency and four poise count. When activating absolute prior resonance, all allies gain two poise. So nebulizer is probably the way to start. It's a tiny little dungeon. So are we finishing this today? Because I don't mind. I, I only have one streaming day next week. So yeah, we need to finish this today. <laughs> I'm just like, I will drag myself through this fucking dungeon. <laughs> yeah, nebulizer, yeah. I'm gonna drag myself through this goddamn dungeon. <laughs> it's the last thing I do. I will. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't do thingy here. Oh. Oh, fuck. Hang on a minute. Oh. I didn't realize. Okay, that's a shame. Uh. Oops. Can't do anything about that now, can I? You got this, Bubby. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Diet. Just gonna sleep. I need to watch stream from the start. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't, I don't have time to stream this again before the event ends. So, <laughs> don't think I'm gonna have time. So, yeah. Um. Okay. This is a problem. Um. I haven't leveled up any of the Kurakumo, so I kind of don't want to limit myself. If it's just for the stuff, because I'll just grind out later. Um. Because yeah. So I don't want to live myself. She carry many fights and she's probably going to carry another one. Um, you should bring as many bonuses as possible for currency. It's okay. I don't mind. I'll grind it out if I need to. I'm not bothered about the currency. I'm bothered about beating the dungeon <laughs> right now. So um, and considering it's not gone super well for me in that last fight, I would rather play it a bit safe. And look, thank you. Thank you, Mega Mataman. I appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to do that as Aloy. And the only reason for that is just because I don't want to limit myself with the characters because I might need these characters and I haven't leveled up the other ones. So I'm not going to take that chance. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything else. So yeah, I'll just grind out afterwards. It's not a problem. I don't I don't care. Um, yeah, that's really unfortunate that I didn't realize that before we went in. But oh well. I'll probably, I can bring I can bring Hong Lu's at least because I probably won't use him. But I'll leave Greg because he does healing. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's about it. I can't really do anything else. So, oops. What's that freaking ass floor. <laughs> okay, which route? Um, probably. Okay, so we can probably do along the top. At least I can build up ego though on the way, so that's good. Let's go top route. If I played it like Mirror Dungeon, <laughs> you'd be like, what is she doing? Um Okay. Made to be farmable, so it's easy. It's just that you must trust the IDs you know. That's true. Which is what I'm probably gonna do right now, if I'm being honest. Um Yeah. You can grind MD and get event currency. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Fine. 
Yeah, about ego. Oh my god, don't tell me I can't use ego. Please. Don't tell me I can't use ego. Oh, that's risky. Oh, that's new. We'll risk it. Please. She just fucking turned around and shot Sinclair in the face. Fuck. At least that didn't do as much damage as last time. Last time she shot one of them in the face and it just killed them straight away. I've never seen her do so much damage ever. It was horrifying. It was a horrible moment. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't on stream. It was actually really bad. Go to that room. Yeah, I yeah. That was that was tame, that's fine. That's manageable. Damn. You can use ego. Go go up the blade I just can't believe there's a dungeon. <laughs> I was like so rare. I was so thinking that was the end of it as well. I was like, oh, we're done. Right. No, you're not done. I'll be. You'll be done when this game says you're done, and not a minute before. Unfortunately. <laughs> Listen, I'm bringing who I know. That's why we're bringing Yisang. Because I know Yisang. And I can work with Yisang. And I know how well Yisang works. And I know thinking doesn't always go well, but I just won't bring him in the other fight. And it will be fine. But look, I got told to trust who I know, and that worked out well for me. When I used who, who I didn't know, it didn't work out well. So that's what we're going to do. Dungeon has cool new events. I always like to focus on checking those out. Yeah, I was going to say, well, I've, I'm trying to go the route with, like, the ego, the most ego in it, so I can see those. In the shimmering fathoms of ego, the painfully pale nightly trail unfolds before us. We hear a pair of voices as we walk along a stone fence. Two travellers are both carrying blades. I pity the people here. Well, the decision of a wing is absolute for its feathers. There is very little they can do about it. One of them stands out. Their clothing sets them apart from the locals. Maybe they're not from around here. Still, to allow the Kurakumo clan to make their way in here, that's too much. The wing cares about naught else but fluttering its wings. All else becomes insignificant. Sounds like they're talking about the current S-Corp. More outside as I see, how convenient. The pair stops in their tracks and then turns to face us. The Kurakumo clan, no, you do not wear their garb. You do not appear to be peasants seeking to make some cash in the chaos of the back streets either. Well then, what do you think outsiders think of the current climate? How should I answer this? Question, it's the city, it's just what happens. Small fries game mixed in large trail conflict. Oh, I have no thoughts around the matter, pity though. I mean, I've got... Uh, fuck it. Let's give it a go. Well, <laughs> let's hope you sang passes then. Come on, buddy. Yeah, nice. Ha. The sword carrying man snickers. You must answer, you answer with wisdom to my foolish query. Such musings hold very little significance in the city indeed. He laughs a little more this time with gusto, then tears a tassel from his weapon before handing it over. I enjoyed your answer. If you ever, oh, ever, find yourself in conflict with the blade lineage, show them this tassel. It will be of some help to you, I can guarantee you that. With that, they waved their hands and disappeared in the other direction. If you can beat him at zero sanity, you'll be fine here. I hope so. We'll probably, apart from I don't have Rhino Mersault this time, but hopefully we'll be okay. We'll see. Uh, if the target is 1.5 lower slash resistance slash resistance plus... Okay, next one. Shimmering blue letters float before you. The way that these similar words are ordered makes it difficult to understand what it's trying to say. To say what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong is not right, but to... Oh, God. But that is not to say that... To say what is wrong is right and right is wrong is wrong. Oh. <laughs> not my brain! Fuck! To say that what is wrong is right and right is wrong is not wrong, and to say what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong is in turn to say that this is wrong is right. What does want... Does it want my impression of these words? What is it talking about? I don't know! <laughs> oh my god, what? What is right and what is wrong? Is it really... Is it really important to tell which is which? Say something that really matters to something else. So it must be said what is... Ooh, which one's better? 
It's a 40 check? What? Oh, you're joking. That's huge. I like its funny words. Uh, I'm mega cracked. One of them basically sets Kim Salt's. Oh, really? Damn. Best ego gifts in the dungeon. The bottom one? The first option? Pick bottom here where you don't have enough BL. Doesn't matter. Um, I like your words, magic man. So wait, which, which one is it? The bottom one? Don't pick the one below. You can't win it. So pick the top one. I'm guessing this one. Bottom. Oh no, now I'm getting different answers. Both are good. Which one's the 40? Just choose either. <laughs> so I'm not gonna win if it's the 40 one though. Uh, it's a high pride check. Okay, which we're not gonna be able to handle. Awesome. Okay, that's fine. Bottom is better for blade salt, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I wrote you MVP. I wrote you it's gonna be MVP. Oh, but I spread misinformation on the internet. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, everyone's saying bottom, but the top one is the 41. Okay, so we can't, we're not gonna do that one. There's no way. Both are 40 and then 20. All right. Still, it must be said that what is right is right. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. It, oh, wait. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So if you do that one, it's 40. But if I do that one. Okay. I mean, it, it could happen. We could get super lucky. Okay. So basically just... Okay. So... Yeah, there's no... That's not going to happen. Okay. Probably him. <laughs> Oh, you got swindled. It's fine, most spell checks in this dungeon are forgiving. First option is good, ego, but for BL, oof. Keep using Kim Salt, choose the lower one, but beware of high check. Use the BL Salt. Are you, no, I'm gonna use that one. Why would I use that one? I've got no SP on it and it's a 40 check. Whereas if I do this one, BL Salt auto wins. It's 20, plus 20 and still can't beat the check. <laughs> I know literally impossible yeah you must be mad i know oh so he goes 19 shame i know probably i mean i'm not gonna win it but that's probably my best bet i think i'll get 20 on oh yeah that's true but it doesn't really matter does it really yeah so it should be fine i don't think rodian can win this one i don't think she can be also auto wins. I don't think that's true, but okay, sure. Oh, we failed. <laughs> sure, why not? It doesn't matter, does it? The blue letters slowly fade away and the new word appears in their place, sorrow. The word stays there for a moment before burning up and fading away. Maybe you didn't like our answer. Nothing Oops. happened. Yeah, there you go. So you were wrong, just a heads up. <laughs> Whoever said it auto wins, it doesn't actually. So just to let you know, it doesn't. Um, yeah, let's go this way because then we can hit two more egos on the way. I'm still going to stick with this. Oh, well. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, God, not these <laughs> again. Ah, okay. At least the music's dope. God, I love this game, but fucking hell, it's stressful <laughs> at times. Oh, you, you know what? Um, no, don't do that. That's a good idea. At least with this, oh, we don't need to clash you anyway, cool. Um, no, we're not doing that, because fuck that. Yeah, let's ignore that one. Okay. Okay. I think, like, back in the day, I think I used to prefer the other type of fights, but I think I actually prefer the Abno fights now, because I feel like you have so much more of control over where your attacks go. I, I definitely prefer it, especially for boss fights. Sure. Oh, 
Yeah, it's fine. It didn't really super matter anyway. It's not that you go gift, which isn't a problem, but I think it benefits Blade lineage. Yeah, it's, it is It is what it is. It's At the end of the day, I don't have a lot of Blade lineage anyway, but also, like, not everyone will have done pulls on the banner and everything, so, like, it's definitely going to be defeatable without Blade lineage. It might just be a little bit harder, but that's fine. You know? Can't rely on Blade lineage all the time. But yeah, like, people won't have pulled on the banners and stuff, so, like, it'll be doable. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who wouldn't have pulled the banners, but yeah. The Runa like gameplay. Yeah, I, I think I really do like the controller over it, though. But it's good. Oh, I thought Sinclair was gonna roll over. Okay. もう while purges next month, is it? Will it be? Do they, do you think we'll get one? Do you think we'll get a while purges before Canto 6? Oh, it's free during the first month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally nuked my resources. That's fair. Just gonna do it. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Don't you freaking dare. Oh, that shit. Last thing I need is any of you losing HP right now. <laughs> The good news is there's a shitload of healing, it looks like. So that's good. Like, Hon Lu right now. Doesn't everyone have a real Yuzang? <laughs> I, I, I don't. I'm one of the only ones. Okay. First turn, start with an encounter an ally with least HP heals. Fi Ooh. While activating Pride, absolute resonance, the ally with the least HP heals 12.5. Uh, I nearly just refused that gift. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good, wouldn't it? Right, I think this is going to be another one of these fights. It is one per quarter. We already got one spring one. Probably be late May. I think it'd probably be like afterwards. Yeah, like after the Kanto 6 release. I didn't think it would be too soon. It'll be a little while, yeah, I think. Yeah. Not quite yet, no. And to be honest, I'm not going to have the resources. They're going to have to give us a bit of time after Kanto 5, because... You know, they're gonna, they, you know they're gonna release some good stuff with Kanto 5. You don't want it to be too soon. Uh, right, who's on neutral? Oh, that one. 29, we really need to get your SP down. Yeah. What do you think they'll do for the next Kanto? Like, what do you think they'd include? I wonder what they're basing on. Hopefully we'll get like Yes Odd or someone as the announcer. That'd be good. They already delayed Kanto 6 release, yeah. Yeah, but to be fair, they might also delay the next while Purgis release. To be fair, like, to push it all back a little bit. Because otherwise, they'll release Kanto 6 and then we'll be due while Purgis, and you need a bit of time between them. Damn, nice. Oh, April Fool. I would hope they do some of April Fools. April Fool's. That'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. That would be pretty great. <coughs> Make us cry. Well, hopefully they'll make us cry in the uh, in the event. Can't six delay. I'm kind of sad. Bob Purge that will be close to the update because season is always hard lunacy. No, I know. I know. That's my concern as well. Is that like I don't want it to be too close. I kind of want if they're going to push season six back. I hope sorry, can't yeah. six. I hope they kind of push back the new Wild Purges. Otherwise, I think it's going to be a bit scary. The boxes will get half at the end of the season. You are right. I don't know if I super like, because I feel like I work really hard for my boxes. <laughs> so it's like I shouldn't be able to keep my boxes as long as I want, really. Without being forced to use them, but... Oh, you've only got eight. You're going to get the full Oh, wow, that went super quick, okay. It'd be good to use supply these from the universes. True, it'd be a great way to cross over with someone else, but I think they're kind of crossing over with obviously like their own game. You know? It'd be cool if they did do an outside crossover though. How about a date with Verge? Oh, I really hope they do April. F That's going to be good. Play as fraudulous, please. I would love that. That would actually be awesome. 
Okay, so next one. It's us Kurokumo clan's turf from here on out. Is it that hard for you to understand that you gotta pay the toll to use our road, huh? People dressed as Kurokomo clan garb stand in the way of the unarmed citizens threatening them. I suppose the excuse is enough for them to tread in our territory as well. Engdu does not hide her indig indigni indignation. She's gritting her teeth. What should we do about them? Uh, ooh, what should we do about them? Probably save them, because she's, like, gritting her teeth. But then I'm going to have to do a fight. But, I'm probably, but I'll probably get something for doing that. Who will step forth? Good question. Yi Sang. <laughs> Who will step forth? Let's be honest. Oh, that scared me. Damn it. What the hell happened? I thought we drew them all away. After a grueling battle, Yi Sang and Engdu managed to defeat or drive off the Kurokomi clan. Uh, you have my gratitude. I'm glad we could find them with some help. Yield. Nice. You the civilians freed of the threat of the Kurokumo clan each bow and give us their thanks. But you're not dressed like a local. If you don't mind us prying, who might you be? Um, say that you're with the blade. Oh, I get an ego gift. Yeah, sure. I don't know how this is going to work, but okay, this is probably going to be super high. Apparently, that is doable. Okay. Oh, yes. The, 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 the civilians immediately kneel before us and bowed profusely. Their voices tremble as they plead. We're sorry. We're so sorry. Please, mercy, don't kill us. In a flustered attempt, Mercil tries to tell them that, that we have no cause or intent to hurt them, but they refuse to listen. Take this at least. They raise their hands with the utmost deference. In their hands, what appears to be a book. Taking a close look at it, we realise that what they handed was a filled ledger with black covers. Please forgive us. That's all we have with us at the moment. The rising lights help them to their feet. The fear has already rooted them firmly in the ground. They don't even dare raise their heads. We had no choice but to leave them as they were. Got okay. So, first turn game, random ego resources equals number of enemies. If there's four or more blade lineage of Kurokuma clan identities participating in the encounter, gain ego resources. Okay, which we're not, so. But hey, we'll take it. Ooh, this is odd. The mi Ooh, wow. The mist is, we don't know how when it happened, but a thick layer of mist had descended all around us. I've heard the tale of one such nightly stroll. In this tale, a clueless traveller heedlessly wanders into a brumous haze and finds himself before the otherworldly being. Well, I I wanted to try I wanted to try using <laughs> using Myrtle. Ah, stop it, stop it. Just as the sinners begin loudly bickering with each other, I realised there was something hazy standing in our way. Is that thing dancing? The mysterious thing dressed in white danced gracefully before us with a large blade in hand. When it met my gaze, or when I thought it did, a sheathed blade had materialised in my hand. What does it want me to do with it? That's a good question. Um, so, assume it sounds like I'm about to draw the sword, unseed the sword and hold it to my side, or leave it. I'm guessing I can do one of these two. It's a traditional Korean, uh, Korean mask. Oh, okay. Top one pick for bleed, bottom for poise. Interesting. Okay. Um. Still no bones? No, no bones at all. Um. That one. I don't see why not. Do it. Very high or. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Ishmael wielded the sword. That's cool image. <laughs> um, Ishmael effortlessly unsheathed the sword, threw it to the scabbard away, and gently lowered it to their side, its tip pointed towards the ground. That thing giggled as it disappeared, somehow finding the situation humorous. It left behind a broken blade. Cool. Okay, let's go here. Benzophil. Okay, cool. So, we've got 360. So, um, let's heal. I also might do this, to be honest, if I'm being honest, because having more of that is going to be useful because I'm probably going to end up using some. Bam, ba, dum. And I can't, I'm not going to be able to enhance anything anyway, I don't think. No. It's fine. Right, here we go. As the shimmering fathoms of ego, a painfully pale nightly trail unfolded before us. I'm a little bit scared here. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have the same as I did, but I think if I bring... I might change the... I think I'm going to bring, essentially, kind of like the team I had before. That team? Because they did pretty well. Obviously, we don't have Rhino Mersault, which might be my downfall, but I figure Blade Lineage Mentor might be okay. Um, Yeah, no, Sinclair Sanity will go so don't worry <laughs> i fixed him yes 
Yeah, I chose the middle one. We chose the middle one. Um, yeah, so we'll go for that. Um, yeah. And we do have an advantage, and we do hopefully have a good amount of those. And yeah, so let's go for it. Let's try that first. Because that worked last time, and we'll see. So that thing behind him is... Indeed, that is the monolith. The artifact must have entered his fathoms of ego the moment it imbued Bad Boo had a kin with strength. This manor must be where the mentors last protectee resided when we before we departed Escorp. Such massacre. Mentor was this carnage the memory that has haunted your dreams and waking hours for so long. Yet the deaths of our dear fellows. Tears began to well in Engdu eyes. Ah. Again, something murmurs in my head. Is this Bamboo Hatted Kim's past? A somber voice drenched with woe echoes in my head. For a fleeting moment, I once had this thing people called honor. By all men whose hearts are consumed by evil oft approach virtuous officials to seek harm. I considered it an honorable deed to be a protector of the virtuous, to hew those that sought harm against them. Keep the hope alive. You're coping so hard. I know. <laughs> Rhino Gregor went, I know. I know. Farm, farm watcher believers and Gregor, Rhino Gregor believers. I know. Absolutely. That is hard copium though, about farm watch, yeah. Yet to be virtuous in a world of the vicious ways to prey on this merciless world. And before such overwhelming might of the vicious, the irrevocably corrupt officials, my strength was inconsequential. I had little choice but to leave Escort cradling my broken spirit along my fellows. I have left my scarred honor behind at the land of my failure. We became vagabonds, lost, wandering and weary, aimless drifters without a place to call their home. Even their faith in my decision has to leave began to crumble piece by piece, so did my faith in myself. I began to fall apart. I have already failed once. What's there to say that I'm not failing my dear fellows once again? The least I could do is help them lead a stable life. Yet that invitation I received only led them to their demise. In the end, I failed my mission. I failed my honor. I failed my dear fellows. Again, I am returned to the land of my failure. The voice continued to murmur, but it devolved into nothing but a loud, low growl, quiet and incoherent rumbling. I can't help but feel a bit of sympathy for his suffocating the painful past. But that's exactly why we have to face him, free him from this distortion. Guys, we're putting an end to this right here, right now. Yes, it appears that we have no choice. Engdu's grown far too agitated to function properly in this battle. It's all up to us now. <laughs> um, <laughs> ego spam! <laughs> Ooh, okay. the music! Okay, what's new? Don't know, okay. Here we go. Performing a post-mortem report as ordered by the executive manager. Just as expected, I am entering the fa entering the fathom seems to intensify the distortion of this bamboo-hatted Kim. There are a few pieces of evidence supporting that notion. The unidentified black tendrils pouring out of his body, further intensified blue glow from his eyes, and the inability to communicate properly with verbal means. Though the last part was always true, I suppose. Even from a quick observation, however, it's obvious that this individual holds a great sorrow in his heart. They call it Han, a resentment of sorts. Oh god, he's all fives again. It's a certain kind of resentment born when intense grief turns to wrath, allowing it to grow would affect its combat capabilities. If you would allow me to express my opinion, someone called a mentor, presumably someone in a leadership position, should not maintain such an emotional state for a prolonged period of time. If he has lost his mind as well, then I suppose he is worthless as a leader of men. It doesn't matter how famous he used to be, how powerful they say. I think, is this Otis? We can more than easily handle such a weak will commander. Yeah, that sounds like Otis to me. That sounds like Otis, actually. A lot. Okay. Oh, okay. We can. I think we can just about clash everything out. Uh, does, does it mean we're going to win? I don't know. But we are in a... I think we're in a good position. So, let's hope so. Uh, okay, let's see who else. Wanna, ooh, okay, no, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's not like... Oh, two? Okay, fun. All right, no, that's fine. We've got enough to clash now. So it's three and five. Okay. Oh, never mind. That, okay, fine. Three and then... That one's fine. Right, and then you've got... I just adore this music so much. Oh, vibrated then. 
Oh my god, I thought he was gonna lose. I was like, we're gonna see the first loss that I've ever seen on, with this. I mean, it's not good because he is on 45 at the minute. I was kind of hoping that was gonna lower that a bit, but he didn't. <laughs> I was really hoping that was gonna lower it, but that's good because it means his thing's going up, so. Okay. Um, it is the same, isn't it? It is still the same. So, um, decrease after winning a clash. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. I'm just checking because I was like, am I supposed to still be doing the same thing? Don't let him too far into negative SP. Yes, we're trying to get him. I'm working on that at the moment. Yes. Do not worry. It's definitely going better than the other fight, but I'm still not going to jinx it because it could all go tits up any second, you know, as we've seen from each day already. And I'm too tired to cope with it, so. <laughs> like I've said about 15 times. <sighs> oh, dear, welcome to the Emerge Lords. Thank you so much. I'm not quite sure how to um, say your names. Please let me know. But welcome. Thank you so much for, subscri for um, subscribing and joining. I really appreciate it. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope you enjoy the emojis. I want to get some Limbus emojis. So please do let me know ideas. What are you on? Five? Yeah, I don't think really. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> He's strong with the last fight. Yes. Goodness. But we're going to employ the same strategy of if he can't hit me, he can't damage me. So, but I'm also just building my ego at the minute. So, yeah. Well, Chris, you can deed traditional Korean in instruments. It's awesome. You can stone because you're Rodian. I know, I know. It's okay. We are. We're working with what we've got. Okay. Getting there. <sighs> Farm watch mode should just be an empty character. Oh. <laughs> no, there's still. It's not over till it's over. It's not over till it's over. It's okay. Favored. Not a big fan of that. Uh, okay. Oh, and there's a counter this time. Okay, so what's so. Pause. And this one. Okay. Great, but okay, it's a few more favored in there than I'd like, but I'm just gonna keep saving ego for when I get a bit desperate. I would love to get him up to 45 SP, but it's not. I did he just wait? Did he just stagger? I don't know, I don't think he did. Did he? He might have just staggered. I don't know. Oh, we have to put him in negative SP though. That was not great. He did stagger. Oh! Oh! Everyone! <laughs> Everyone, go! Go, go, go! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, we'll save that in case he comes back with some insane freaking move next time. Game seven charge. That's what I want. Okay. Yeah, he basically crumbles on stagger. Yeah, okay. That's good. Please, please crumble so I can finish stream and go to bed. <laughs> that watch is real. I fought him with one gift where you hit him with Pride of Blood. SP drops. I had no idea how I won that fight. That's that's great that you did, though. The SP is dropping right now, which is not ideal. But this is why I'm going to save. This is what save the egos for. It'd be great if he could die, but he's probably not going to. Okay, he's on 17. Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Oh, I can't clash it with that. That's so... I thought it was my moment. I thought it was my time. I thought Mersault was about to be in his prime. That is so unfortunate. What I am going to do... Wait, I, can I not... Wait, why can I not clash? Oh, wrong one. It's still favoured. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. Yeah, I might have just made this fight slightly harder for myself. We can't celebrate too soon. This could still go very wrong. I'm, I have no doubt. Okay, neutral is not great. Oh, that is bad. This time for ego is bad. Yeah, let's see what we got going. Actually, <laughs> it's my new Christmas one. What is actually this one is actually pretty good, and it's struggling. Okay. Hey, oh, we can't even use it. Okay, let's have a look. 
Yeah, not you. See, I need to ideally win that. The fuck is gonna win that? Yeah, you can't even flash it. Okay. Well, the good news is, um, I might be able, I mean, I might be able to kill it. He's so low health, it might be okay. You have any slash pierce egos? I'd use them. Let me have a gander through and see what we got going. That's, I mean, hers is slash. Unopposed though. I can't, can I, oh, I can't. Interesting, okay. You can't. Her, this one's kind of nuts. It is pierce, but will it clash it? That will not clash. Why will these not clash? These egos aren't clashing. That is not a good sign. That one won't clash either. Even though the speed's high enough. Use the Christmas one. Oh my God. It, wait, is that gonna save the dead? Well, hang on a minute. That's, th okay. That is, if that actually saves the team, that's crazy. Cause I just got that ego today. If that actually saves the team, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh so hard. That will heal Sinclair. That's true. If I do lose that, that would help. Yeah, hang on a minute. That could be, that would be really funny. That actually would be really funny. Uh, yeah, hang on. Uh. Okay. Right, well, we've clashed it out, so. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh, it's fixed target. Oh, sorry. Oh, target fix. Sorry. I did. Yep. Yeah. Game fans can't read, as always. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're right, because it's fixed. Target. Yeah, I didn't see that. Sorry. That's so unfortunate, though, that his freaking skill is right there and I can't use it. What? I'm, I'm actually a bit nervous. If that does save us, though. Holy shit. It's meant to be. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, shit. She just got staggered. Oh. Okay, this is pure damage though. No clashing happening. Okay, we'll get a 45, we are close. I don't even care. This is the most scuffed win. Like, if I win this, I don't care. Oh, oh I kind of thought I was going to lose then. That would have been really exciting. <gasps> I don't care. I don't care how scuffed this win is. <laughs> I will take it. I don't care how scuffed that win is. I don't care if I don't read. I don't care if I'm bad at playing. I will take that. That was fucking hard. Oh, dude, that was that was intense. <laughs> oh, that was that was intense. The claim is not the same as the one in the other fight. I don't want to know what that was, but we did it. Yes. My God. <laughs> oh, oh, the dungeon. After a grueling battle, he's managed to finally drag Bamboo Hat Kim to his knees. <laughs> like a mirage, the fathoms of ego began to fall apart. The monolith of... Ooh, this music went a bit. Would be this the best win ever. Thank you. Do you know what? Thank you. Ready for my favorite scene? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. You already won the moment you got into 142. I know, but I've had it turn around on me before. Terrifying me enough. Right, let's, let's watch the scene. We've earned this scene. The monolith had already left the fathoms of Ego and was back at the center of the office. Just as the office began to resemble the one we walked into, the radio I carried began to buzz again. Hiya, can you hear me? If you do, give me a TikTok. TikTok? You claim the calcium. It was actually grueling. Very funny, Dante. You know we just barely survived a deadly encounter, right? Well, she asked me to. Perfect, we really don't have much time left. Since it looks like the monolith's ba barely stabilized, let me teach you how to lock it down. Don't take too long or the distortion's gonna turn into an abnormality. Follow my instructions to a T and don't lag behind. I don't know why I just winked. I just had the feeling that she would wink. It's all about precision and speed. Glorifully cheerful to uh, how the die of the situation is. I followed the radio's instructions and reached out to the monolith with my palms. Ooh, some light came out of it when I reached out with my fingers. The voice coming from the radio was pretty nonchalant about this, but it almost sounded like she could see exactly what I was looking at. Right, straight down from there. Yep, you're doing good. Now move left. Take it slow now. I couldn't help but wonder if I was doing this right, but I still followed the directions and drew a trail of light with my hand over the monolith. Ugh! Mentor! The shimmering black tendrils began to withdraw from Babu Hatakim's body. Maybe the distortions were drawing too. 
Good work, detective. The levels are stabilizing. Ah, I can't seem to stop calling you detective, huh? Sorry. Old habits die hard, you know. She would wink, you're right. Oh my god. Love that. Um... Well, there's only one other thing that I know with the word detective in it from this game, which is distortion detective. So is this a character from that? Because... <laughs> is it? <gasps> I don't know the characters, but yeah. It sounds like she's pointing to someone else on the other side of the community. Oh my god. Is this like the distortion detective people who I, I don't actually know? To be fair, yeah, she didn't talk to you. Yeah, but like, she said the word detective. Good work, bus dudes. I'll see her be there in a minute, so just sit tight. Yeah, she's not dancing. Yeah, yeah, I figured, but like, yeah. Huh? LCA, not that, not that rude after team from the lady. Well, anyways, thanks for the assist, everyone. LCD Distortion Task Force, Ezra, over and out. Uh, oh, is that the character's name? I don't, I don't know anything about Distortion Detective, by the way, so I just know of it. The radio shot off for any of us had the chance to say anything again, and not five seconds later. My, my, they're really piling in, huh? LCA, the Special Operation Unit. Orders, commencing secured item retrieval. Uh, right, the item is... Custody, target T276, confirmed and secure. Oh, looks like our job is done here. I didn't even have to say anything, not that they could hear me anyway, before the uniformed troops marched in and started attaching various tools to the monolith. Trouble, T272... 27601, unconfirmed, requesting location. What are you blathering on about? Rewording. Where is the distorted individual? Ah, uh, I am aware of who you seek. He sits next to the monolith. Huh? O where has he gone? The individual by the name Eng Du dragged him away behind that sofa. Approximate time of then, three minutes ago. Post picture within Discord. Spoilers, or should we hold off? Um, look up Ezra after the scene. She's the distortion detective partner. Oh, okay, okay. I tell you what, I won't Google it because I wanna, I wanna, I kind of like wanna wait until I get to looking at the distortion detective stuff. So I'll hold off. But obviously now I know the reference, but I'll hold off until I get a bit closer to looking at that stuff because I don't want to get too confused as to who's who. Um, but yeah, I might do that. Um, didn't I ask you to tell us if you know something important going on in the background? I will make an immediate report of an identical event. If it should an identical event occur. That's when I noticed the LT agents were growing visibly uneasy. Alert. Abnormal reaction detected from an entity T27601's proximity. And when the agent ran over and kicked the sofa... Ah. Ah. Miss Eng Du. There was Eng Du, her arms wrapped tightly around Babu Hatted Kim, her hand holding a blade that dug deep into her mentor's flesh. I know not of your painful past. I can't possibly know in detail what you've gone through. But, but there cannot be a just reason, an excuse for cutting down your very own fellows. Miss Eng Du, that man was not himself. Did she just freaking murder him? If the blade has consumed my mentor, turned him into a fiend, then I will end him myself. It has to be me. No, not at all. It's all excuses. That's all it is. If mentor didn't bring some odd invitation to us, if he hadn't caused us to flee Escop, our home to begin with... Oh yes, I hear you. Your voice is finally growing clearer. Mutation. Distortion of the if subject entity confirmed. Suspicion. Phase one of the monolith reactivation process may have been engaged. We can't just let her be. She's going to distort. Mersault, knock Miss Engdu out. <laughs> wait. Wait, did he? Wait. Ah. Mersault struck Engdu hard before the LTH just even had a chance to do anything. Stabilized. Distortion nullified by the subject's loss of consciousness. Wait, wait, did he just like punch her? <laughs> K.O. The bell. <laughs> oh my god stab wound confirmed on t27601 wound not a critical will not pose challenge to retrieval and recovery it's super effective <laughs> that's so good i have carried out the task as you awarded <laughs> that's brilliant oh my god <sighs> thank you well what just happened was that caused by the monolith's influence too a plausible explanation. The monolith was properly sealed, but its lingering influence seems to have seeped into her. Oh! Oh, hey! The levels went bonkers over there just now. 
The radio began buzzing all on its own again. Requesting radio, I will receive LCD's message. Uh, okay. Acknowledged, please speak. Huh? Oh, you're LCA, aren't you? I'm Azra from LCD, nice to... Acknowledged, commencing sit rep. You know what? You're not the only one who knows how to cut people off. I already got your sit rep, okay? I don't need it. There are two people in there, right? Just bring them both over here. Negative. Exact order state the retrieval targets are to be... Come on, loosen up some, huh? Concern. The Molith alone will be a difficult subject to contain. Ah, that's okay. Our very own... I mean, our very own LCD team leader says she'll take care of it. <laughs> Besides, that monolith, Detective and I have successfully retrieved that before. And considering the two of them are both returnees from the library, considering the two of them have both been pulled from the edge of distortion, it'll definitely help us with our records, don't you think? Understood. However, the hell are we kidnapping them for some dodgy human experiments or something? Okay, so I know there's been a number of scary rumors of kidnappings in T-Corp, but what we're doing here is completely unrelated, all right? I'd appreciate it if you didn't compare us to the likes of those Backstreet rumors. Sure, you guys can leave them there, but if we don't take them in, they'll distort and get killed. Who knows? The Kurokuro clan or even the Thumb could catch wind of this and pick them up instead. I suppose you're right. Anyways, make sure to bring them in, both of them, okay? Acknowledge. Retrieving now. The call dropped. Agents swarmed around the pair, bound them, and disappeared th out of the door. All of it was done in one fluid practice motion. I don't know when it happened, or, but they retrieved them on lift when the LCA agent picked up the LCD's call. Great. So, mission accomplished, huh? I guess so. Warning. Recommended action for the manager. Immediate extraction from the scene. Imme imminent arrival of the thumb. Highly likely. Oh, shit. So, after the middle is the thumb. <laughs> What I would give to see the look on their stuck-up faces. I think he's telling us to get out of here before the thumb catches us red-handed. Correction, Limbus Company was already on a crash course with a thumb the moment we commenced this mission. That makes sense. It'll only be a matter of time before they put the pieces together and realize that we're involved in what happened. Are you sure that we can not we can handle not only the middle but also the thumb? Irrelevant. A foe is a friend, and a friend is a foe for Limbus Company. A delayed. Extracting scene first. With that cryptic message, the LCA agent quickly withdrew this from the scene. He knows something, but won't tell us what it is. At least that was the impression I got from the way he spoke. I came to meet so many departments of the company in such quick succession. The LCA, the LCD, the LCCA. An old question arose again. Something I'd forgotten. We kept ourselves busy with the mission we carried out so far. I really don't know much about this company I'm working for. And there's this mysterious Herman and equipuzzling Damien... Maybe in the grand scheme of things, I don't really know anything. Maybe what I know amounts to nothing more than a pinch of knowledge available to the powers that may be. I thought that we were pretty deep into our journey, but... I was starting to feel that in the far future, if I were to look back on the records of this journey, we wouldn't even be ten pages into the book. Um... I began walking back to the bus with the sinners, my head further mirrored in confusion. Oh, Wooey, we really ran into a lot of people in such a short time, huh? Well, I'm pretty happy that I got to know more about the workings of this company. Once we returned to the bus, the sinners each began chattering away about what happened. I wonder what's going to happen to Aang Du or Bamboo Hadakim. That does not appear to be information we are privy to, although we all work under the same company, and all that the LCD shared with us is the name of our contact, Ezra. Then is Limbus Company truly kidnapping people for human exper- You don't just start experimenting on humans like that. It's not something that just happens. Remember what the LCD woman said? Rumors like that. Rumors. Gregor forward his brows as though some unpleasant memories of his past began flooding in. He dug into his pockets for a cigarette. I want Gregor part two! There's LCD, but LCA just seems really out of place. Even when compared to other departments, it's like they're from a completely different company. As we made our way back to the bus, I slowly began to organize my thoughts and everything that's happened. I did know that it wasn't the most productive thing for me to do. 37 Kanto? Flippin' heck, yeah. Well, I guess that's the thing, isn't it? With, like, a ga like it is going to be long-term, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, Dan yeah. Definitely eight chapters after the rest of the Sinners and Dante, and then after that, who knows, yeah. Well, it depends, doesn't it? Because it's such a big city. It depends if we're even going to stay with the same cast, if anything's going to happen to them. Like, we don't know. God, imagine if they kill one of the Sinners off. <laughs> Just be like, what? Oh. Gosh, you're not going to answer any of my questions, are you? I apologize. At the present moment, it is difficult for me to disclose any information that does not concern the LCB department. Ugh. It's like an impatience is a prerequisite for boarding this bus, manager or sinner. Vigila sighed as he muttered. He must see me burying my clock head in my palms. Your journey will inevitably lead to the answers of all your questions, Dante. 
Just follow the path and it shall be revealed. You have no reason to rush. Besides, Vigilis' gaze fixed for a brief moment slightly above my head. I wonder if he's looking at my flame. It's nothing. Ugh, perhaps your impatience is rubbing off on me. I suppose I shall find out along the way as well. I wonder if they'll ever make a new management game. They did talk about it though, right? Five sinners, yeah, resolve already. Greg, Rod Rodia, Sinclair, Yi Sang, and Ishmael. Well, not well, I wouldn't necessarily say resolved because Gregor's wasn't resolved. That was left very open-ended. And I wouldn't, I would also argue, argue Rodia's wasn't necessarily resolved. Sinclair to an extent, I feel like Yi Sang and Ishmael really had big revelations coming out of their cantos, but I don't necessarily feel that Gregor and Rodia did. I think Sinclair is kind of in the middle, but I wouldn't necessarily say that they were like resolved. They got the grant, they got the golden bows, but like especially Gregor's left a lot of open questions. Rodia's too, but like Gregor's was very much like open ended. Um, so I wouldn't say like he 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 didn't look. Yeah, Greg and Rodian weren't. They definitely weren't resolved. They definitely need another part. I don't like Ishmael and Yi Sang felt so resolved. Sinclair kind of, of obviously with the Damien stuff there's definitely going to be more but Rodian not moving forward isn't resolved Sinclair made his first step yeah yeah Sinclair's is partially but we've had hints at Sinclair with how he's reacted to stuff that there is something bigger for Sinclair coming I think some kind of like breakdown or something I think yeah he only got the yeah Sinclair yeah it was like half resolved but I think that like Yi Sang and Ishmael learn a lot from that. I like they could definitely do more. There's definitely stuff that's open ended, but like I, they don't need. There's not that big emotional thing, like thing that they need to deal with. Like they they've come to terms with their past and they're moving forward. The other three characters, I don't feel like they have. So they definitely need another Canto focused on them. I think there's something more to Gregor's arm. Oh, Gregor's got a whole thing. Yeah, like the one of the big bads is great is essentially gregor's mum like there's a whole thing there it's definitely not resolved ish and yisang still have a long way to go but in regards to coming to terms with their past it felt a lot more resolved so they definitely moved forward and have grown as characters yeah we're gonna get greg and rodian we need them you need you need a greg and rodian second canto they yeah very much very much so yeah the current big bad yeah um sinclair during merciless canto have a sinclair it's kind of healing from the crew ah i know well merciless canto is not gonna be for a while to be fair um and gregor's mom was literally the big bad so i don't think it will be resolved. no no well i think there'll be some reveals to do with that there's definitely some weird stuff to do with gregor that's not been kind of re revealed yet yeah there's yi sang's friend gubo yeah true and there's there's a lot of there's like that other member that's still like missing that still has to appear as well so there's stuff like yi sang's past that's not been fully resolved but like his growth as a character has occurred so it'll be interesting to see how he deals with it going forward sorry let's go karen been waiting for a vroom vroom time driving to the famous heights of t-corp so the bus took off once again sometimes bustling sometimes dead silent main antagonist lives that'll help through <laughs> Maybe Gregor and Osis Kanto. True, they do have that connection, don't they, with the smoke war? So maybe something could occur. Oh, we did it. That was fantastic. I, yeah, I was just very tired. <laughs> uh, oh, so I have to like, ex oh, I see. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to like buy the stuff. I was like, I'm, oh, I see. Okay, wait, so there's only one of you. Let's get that. <laughs> to tea nest we're on our way this oh oh okay have to get all these okay i'll have to grind them out okay yeah yeah and then yeah <laughs> the pulls and then i'll grind the rest of these out okay yeah it's not too bad i'll sort it out Cool. Oh yeah, because I leveled up. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was a brilliant event. That was fantastic. Yeah, you can pick what to get first. Like, yeah, I got the Don, yeah. Greg and uh, Oates and Gregor on the opposite side of the smoke. Well, I'd be surprised if this... Ne oh yeah, I I think it could get brought up. I mean, it was just brought up in there, wasn't it? So it'll be, it'll be fascinating to see what happens. Um, it'd be interesting if we do the villain side, since we know PM, there's no right or wrong. I hope so. I hope so. More pulls. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't have much I really need to get. I mean, I'd happily get the Faust, but I've already got the Mersault. 
get Faust. 400 thread. That is true. I, I will have to grind that out to get that thread, to be fair. I mean, how much have I got? Oh, I kind of feel like I should save it, though. Because I've not got... Well, I've got some lunacy. I'm not doing too bad. But yeah. All right, I'll do one more temple to end the stream. So, and then we'll end the stream there. Because <laughs> to be honest, I could probably grind out from that. And yeah, I do need to find out about the distortion detective as well. You never have enough pulls. That is true. We'll do one more and then I'll end, I'll end the stream there. And I don't think we've got anything. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's a cop out, but I don't think it is. No. Faust really eludes people though. Oh, we've got another Gregor. Yeah, he's coming back a lot. Okay. Jarling Fast probably the idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. Do the paid one pull two. <laughs> Okay, anyways, right, I am going to leave it there for today. I'm very tired, as you guys, I'm sure, have heard about a hundred times in the stream. Thank you for pulling me through. I I did lose hope a few times in there where I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I'm not going to make it. But you guys pulled me through that stream. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot to the channel and to me and everything. Um, I'm, I can only stream one day next week, I think. I haven't quite figured out it out yet i need to find out so i think i can only stream one day not quite sure which day i think it's saturday but i'm not quite sure which game i'm gonna play yet so i need to have a think it might be ruiner because i do want to keep progressing ruiner i've made some good progress we're getting to a really good point i've still got the babies to fight but i'm not 100 sure but it will be next saturday so i'll let you guys know in the discord um yeah don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and yeah thank you thank you all for being here i really appreciate it i don't worry i will guys i will, I will. i'm gonna grind out anyway so do not worry but yeah see you until Kanto six well, hopefully i'll see you before then but yeah it's not so like april but yeah, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun thank you so much i appreciate it yeah it was a lot of fun guys i had a, I had a great time Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm going to go and sleep. And have an amazing one, people. I will catch you next time.